Welcome back, Chatty Chatters. Good to see you all here for a little extendo on Back to the Dawn. There's been a few games over the last few Next events or Next Fest that really got my attention, and I want to play more before they come out in a demo. Some of these games where they're story-based like this are hard because it's like, on one hand, I want to play them a lot because they have an interesting story and they're really good and interesting and engaging but the problem is they're just a demo so like all the things that you do just kind of don't really matter because you know the demo comes to an end and uh, this is one of those games like that where it's like it's just too damn good I played the demo like two times now and now I want to play it uh, in more depth to experience the story and get ready for what will be uh, I'm hoping to be a real banger of a game it's very interesting this game 
Very, very interesting. And, uh, you know, on the surface, it's just like, oh, it's a cute little tee-hee prison escape game. But it's a little bit more dark and gritty than that. Of course, I'm talking about, not this game, but we're talking about Back to the Dawn. Boom. Yeah, Back to the Dawn has a demo on Steam for the Steam Next event. So if you want to go ahead and get into that, they call it a Next Fest, but Next event, uh, you can go ahead and download this one for free. Now, the demo might be free for a little bit longer. Um than just the 26th, but a lot of games will have their demos up by the 26th. So if there's anything interesting uh, that you like, for example, The Escapist, which is actually a prison escape game. Oh, this would be a good one to play with Dirty and uh, and the and the crew, all the uh, goof troop. I think that'd be actually really interesting. We'll have to do that. But uh, this game, I thought it was going to be multiplayer too, actually, because like weirdly enough, when I went to Steam Next Fest, if you click on uh, multiplayer, this game comes up. Back to the Dawn popped up for me. Maybe it was a glitch. I don't... Yeah, maybe it was a, a Steam glitch. But I, one, one time when I was clicking on multiplayer, I saw Back to the Dawn listed here. When I clicked on the store page, it said single. I think it will be a single-player game. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the premise of the game is essentially we get framed for a crime we didn't commit. We get to play as a fox, but there's a few other characters that we can play as well in the full version. But basically, uh, there's a corrupt mare in a corrupt city, in a corrupt prison system, and uh, they basically had you arrested because it's, uh, well, mayor re-election time, and they plant some evidence. You go to prison, and you got to stop the mayor from uh, basically getting re-elected by telling the truth about uh, the mayor having, like, a son or somebody, I think it's his son, who owns shares in a local company that's, like, polluting the waters and doing all sorts of stuff. It's really interesting. It has crafting. It's a survival game that I really want more of these games like this. I think this is a, just a like a perfect, great game as a game. It, like, it's a genius concept. So anyway, let's jump into Back to the Dawn. If you like it, try it for yourself. And remember, as always, the most important thing to do is on the channel, anytime you really like something and want to get it, if you've played the demo, make sure you add it to your wish list too. So that way, when it drops, it's really important for these indie devs, smaller devs and publishers even though like Team 17 and Tiny Build are starting to grow quite a bit, uh, they're re really making some very unique and interesting games. And if we don't support these kinds of games, we're going to end up with Golem and like Battlefield and stuff all the time <laughs> that aren't so good. You know what I mean? Lots of bugs, lots of problems, but these games are damn solid. All right, so welcome back. Good to see you all here. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much, everybody, for being a part of the streams. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the member bombs. Chatty chatters, people are dropping member bombs here in this community quite often. So do yourself a favor. Hit that join button. When that little menu opens, three dots on the right side of that menu. Swing your membership gifting to allow. And if anybody in the chat drops a big old gift bomb, then you get access to a ton of emotes and more. So, yeah. So this is definitely a game to keep an eye on. I'm trying to, during, during this next event, give the most amount of love and attention to games that I just think are just, like, just amazing, you know? Uh, and we do that all the time, like we did with Manor Lords or Broken Arrow. And I hope we could do that with a game like Welcome to Navalis, which I'm excited about as well. Anyway, no more blabbing. Let's get into some action. Let's go. Uh, no matter what I do, I can't allow member gifts. That's strange. Oh, it might be if you're on a um, a different, uh, what do they call it? A uh, brand account, I think it is. All right, back to the Don. Let's go. Oh, by the way, uh, just as a side note, but this this uh, stream isn't sponsored at all. Um, I did a sponsored video, though, early on this. Uh, but I was like, I'm, I was tired of only like getting like 20 to 30 minutes into the game and then like having to wrap it up for a video because that works best on YouTube. Uh, but just as a side note, they're also doing giveaways and stuff for this game. They're like giving away merch and like uh, some other Steam codes or Steam gift cards and whatnot. And um, you can just check their Twitter for that. Just uh, search for Back to the Dawn on Twitter. And uh, yeah, they're, they're not sponsoring this this stream, but I thought it was just cool that they're doing giveaways and stuff in honor of them just having a demo, which is pretty sweet. All right, let's start a fresh new game. Apparently, we can continue, but can I can I start fresh? Oh, I think I can click load game and then delete and then start all over. We're gonna do a fresh start and get all deep nitty gritty on this one. This game's cool too because it's all time based. So like everything you do is kind of like you you almost have to plan your moves out strategically, and so each playthrough could be a little different based on what you do. Now let's go back to the uh, main menu, load game. 
Delete new game. There we go. All right, so we can play as Black Panther Bob, but I don't think we can do that in the demo. Not ready yet to experience Thomas's story first. Okay. So Fox Thomas. Uh, broadcast journalist. Oh, these are backgrounds that we can choose for our character if we want to. Hmm. Any other information on him? Uh, we get three strength, four agility, four intelligence, and five charisma. Uh, Thomas, a journalist for Woodpecker TV, gets drawn into the city's shadowy underbelly while investigating a story. The other one is Bob, an undercover detective poses as a criminal and infiltrates the prison for a top secret mission. See, that's damn cool that they're writing around that way. The writing's really good here. Okay, um, so we could be a broadcast journalist, which will give us charisma plus one, with an extra 30% when raising rapport with others, uh, but we can't shower without using soap. Uh, we also get affinity. Only one focus point is consumed when befriending prisoners. Egghead. Uh, plus two when performing knowledge actions. This goes up by an extra one for every three books you read. Undercover journalist. Uh, plus one agility. Plus one extra pocket slot. Attempting a challenge with a reroll. Re a success rate less than 30% will cost two focus points. Crafter, you can craft simple tools and weapons. Ooh. Uh, max violation of carried items plus 10. War correspondent. Strength plus one and your armor changes to thick fur. Nightmare can't be automatically forgotten. Uh, weapon practice. When performing a weapon attack, you'll not consume extra endurance due to all thumbs. Basic medicine. Uh, you can craft presser bandages, laxatives, sleeping pills, perform the wrap action, and a fight will additionally heal you by an amount equal to your intelligence. Okay, so our intelligence starts at four. Hmm. I'm thinking the only really good one is the undercover journalist because some of these might be good for like the full game, like befriending prisoners and building relationships or doing more combat, but I don't know. I've always gone with undercover journalists. Seems like the better of the options, on, honestly. Uh, as a journalist, you know all too well that the city's evils are often hidden in the darkest corners. That's why you always carry a miniature camera when you venture into seedy back streets on your quest to reveal the truth. However, the constant danger has made you overly cautious. Let's do it. If it's the law of the jungle in this city, then how are we any different from wild animals? Let's go, brother. Is live chat on? No, of course not. There we go. Now it's on. Thank you, chat. Confirmed. Dear viewers, I'm here at the Lame Leg River near the Black Marsh Chemical Plant at Skid Row. As you can see, the river is purple. It has a very pungent odor. I'm with one of the residents of the riverbanks. Let's hear his thought on the matter. My thoughts? The damn chemical plant opened less than two years ago and it's already devastated the surrounding area. Those heartless sons of bitches must have dumped sewage into the river at night. Now all the fish are dead. It's messed up. Just smell the stench. So many kids are sick, they can't stop coughing and have rashes all over their bodies. And have you informed the authorities, such as the Environmental Protection Agency or City Hall? Of course, but they're uh, useless. None of them want to take responsibility. I heard the mayor's nephew sh has shares in the plant. Bastards are all in on it together. They see us poor people here as less than nothing. Viewers, it's the tragic situation here uh, the result of an illegal sewage dumping. And is the inaction of the authorities due to the mayor's involvement? We'll continue to investigate the story, so stay tuned for our follow-up report. You feel this is like Animal, uh, animal Farm? Yeah, there's actually gangs in the prison. I'm Thomas the Fox, Woodpecker TV. Well, oh, excellent interview. Your reputation is well-deserved. 
I'm sure you didn't ask me here just to watch a video with you, Mr. Campaign Manager. Indeed not. We're both busy men. I'll get straight to the point. As you know, the mayor's four-year term is almost up and the election's just around the corner. Are you seeking to be re-elected? Are you seeking re-election and has hired me, Angelo, as his campaign manager? You know who Angelo reminds me of, chat? Do you remember when we played um, uh, Dino Punk? And there was the snooty guy. I forgot his name. Do you guys remember the name of the snooty dinosaur? The one who was getting a divorce from his wife and he ran that company and was trying to turn the heat up on his workers? I forgot his name. Was it... Was it Reed? Something like that. Uh, the mayor has asked the eraser for help. He must be desperate. The eraser? Oh, that's just business slander. I'm a serious social activist. But let's get back to the point. Cards on the table. The mayor does indeed have a certain relative who holds shares in the plant. But the mayor wasn't aware of that fact, and no so-called power-for-money deal ever took place. But your interview may cause some more unsophisticated citizens to misunderstand the situation. So, I hope you'll reconsider your follow-up report to avoid any further misunderstanding. I'll find out the truth. <laughs> what a great journalist. I admire your passion for your work. But there's more to life than work. Far more. What are you trying to say? A little birdie told me you're renting some flea bag apartment and broke up with your girl not too long ago. Dot, dot, dot. And no friends to speak of other than that lawyer you used to go to school with. Your aggressive reporting always gets you in trouble. He's the one who has to clean up your mess. You've clearly done your research on me. Oh, you flatter me. I'm just trying to make a point. We both find ourselves in situations that are less than ideal. We can help each other. Knuckles, the briefcase. Question mark? What's this? Are you trying to buy me? <laughs> you got me wrong. I simply want you to join our campaign staff as uh, head of publicity. This is your fee. Someone of your talent working as a TV reporter. Such a waste. I want to give you an opportunity. So, will you join us or carry on with your thankless reporting? You're a smart fox. I'm sure you'll make the right choice. No, thank you. Put your money away. I'm not for sale. Oh, how unfortunate. Well, since you're so determined to be so stubborn, you leave me no other choice. Is the eraser about to show his true colors? You can't buy me, so you have to resort to threats? Are you looking for the chance to erase me as well? <laughs> no way. You're the hot shot who broke the contamination story. If you were to disappear, it would be a major headache for me. After all, the public do love to engage in wild speculation. I'm glad to hear this. Well, if nothing else, I'll be going. And I promise you'll see a follow-up report real soon. Take care. Have a nice day. You'll regret your foolishness. Ooh. I'm Sergeant Norman. This is my precinct. Is this your car? Uh, yes. Is there a problem, officer? We received an anonymous tip that this car contains legal substance. We're here to check it out. Exclamation point. Kyle, check up front. Eric, move your ass. Turn the trunk inside out. Sir, there must be some mistake. That's for us to determine. You just sit tight. Damn Dobermans. 
Dot, dot, dot. Uh-huh. Sarge, I found it. He was hiding something. And it looks like grade A stuff. That's right, a Raptor subscription by turning on the notification bell and hitting that subscribe button now. Wait, I don't know anything about that. Shut your mouth. Save it for the station. What a great day. It calls for another drink. Prominent reporter sentenced to prison. Today, Thomas the Fox, the prominent reporter for Woodpecker TV, was sentenced to three years in prison and fined $50,000 for possession of illegal substance. He'll serve his sentence at Boulderton Prison. Sources stated he is also, a sus is also suspected of bribing interviewees and fabricating the fake news stories, among other violations. In the word of one city resident, I'm very disappointed in him. I no longer believe any of his past reports. The investigation in the contamination of Leg, Lame Leg River has finally brought the truth to light. The investigation team jointly formed by City Hall and the Environmental Protection Agency issued a statement which read, quote, The incident was caused by a temporary worker who was drunk on the job. He accidentally poured chemicals down the drain, which resulted in minor contamination. The temporary worker in question has been fired. The investigation team has also allocated the Black Marsh Chemical Plant an additional fund to assist in cleanup activities in an effort to return a clear river to the public. Oh, wow. Wow. Even more money. Boulderton Prison, cell block A, 21 days until the mayor's election. Yeah, so they get more money. A corrupt system getting more money? Unheard of. Stand at attention. Listen good, fish. From now on, your inmate 1220, Tucker Hat Emote. I'm Captain Bruce. My words are the law. You will obey. Do you understand? I understand. What? Speak up. I can't hear you. I understand. Good. Now get your ass to cell three and make a snappy. Here it is, fish. Your new home. Before you go in, one last thing. Head count is in the lobby at eight. You better not be late. Now get out of my sight. Oh, that guy talks a lot. Well, now's not the time to waste energy getting mad at him. It's been a week since my conviction and I still haven't met Reed, our lawyer. I don't know how the appeal is pro uh, progressing. I need to contact him ASAP. Hmm. Ask the prisoners. They should know how to contact the outside. New quest, the Prince of Justice. Press L to view quest notifications. Uh, you're replaying it? Yeah, I never really... So, the f last couple times we played this, I'd just kind of get into it, and then um, I would kind of just want to quit. And honestly, this playthrough is one I didn't want to do because I want to play the full game, but I feel like there's so much content in the demo that I could play it and then just want to play it again. Some demos are hard, man, because like a survival game or a story-based game, the base that you build or the character that you have and the R like the upgrades that you unlock in an RPG or skill points if it's a demo... You never, like, get to play the full game. Like, sometimes I'll play and just, like, do it carelessly just to show off the game and people will be mad. But it's like, it's all, it's a demo. Like, I can't, like, whether I have the greatest character in the world, we never get to go past level two. So it's like, but this game is so cool with its lore and it's, I, I just like, I just like this game. If I were to make a game, it would kind of be like this. So anyway, I'm going to scoot over a little bit because there are some stats behind me. We do have our character portrait. And then below, on that right side, obviously, is health and then, like, brain power. And then our food and stamina or whatever. Our satiation, or maybe our status. Anyway, uh, the price of justice. You've been framed for reporting on a sewage violation at, at a chemical plant involving the mayor, and now you find yourself incarcerated in the maximum security Boulderton prison. Although the verdict has been reached, your lawyer friend Reed, the Red Panda, is still trying to appeal. Is Sebastian here in the chat? Uh, you need to get in touch with him as soon as possible to discuss the next steps. You must not stand for this miscarriage of justice. Ask your cellmate how to contact the outside. Hmm. Name, Fox Thomas. 
Served one day, cell A103, gang unaffiliated, rank unaffiliated. Wow, we can join a gang. Occupation, undercover journalist, cash held 50 bucks. Conduct point zero, reputation level one. Equipment, we have some shoes. Leather shoes, equipment, reputation level one, one point when performing negotiation actions. The epitome of style, just like oh, the ones that the warden wears. Oh, that's a uh, Shawshank Redemption reference for sure. Caramel bar. Mind plus five, intelligence plus one, last two hours. Caramel, almonds, crushed peanuts. Cookie. A cookie with raisins. At least they look like raisins. Chewing gum. Mind plus two, charisma plus one, last two hours. Oh, okay, so there's some things that, like, kind of are temporary perks. I never actually saw that before. Or remember it. A demo paper crane. You have no idea how it ended up in your pocket, but you have a vague feeling it would make an amazing gift. Paper. Friendly advice, don't use it to wipe your ass. Coin. Disassembly tool. Can be used to disassemble. Points plus one when disassembling. Common uh, currency of the Animal Federation because it's made of metal. It's worth more than its face value in prison. I'm assuming that could work like a screwdriver. Strength, agility, intelligence, charisma. We'll look at those later. Uh, survival, digestion, focus, and prestige, violations and digestion. Wow, we have skill bo points too. My God. Robust toughness, counterattack, catnip, smash, adrenaline rush, fortitude, crafter. Oh, so we can add skill points here. Ah, then there's gangs, too. Apparently, we're already at negative 15 with the Bigfoot gang. Bigfoot gang is a bunch of hardened criminals who run the prison's weight pit and underground boxing matches. So if you're a tough guy, they're the gang for you. Oh, ho, ho. so we can join a gang based on our, like, um, like physical or agility or whatever. Uh, be careful what you say and do. If you offend the Bigfoot gang, uh, things won't end well for you. Sharptooth gang. Sharptooth Gang is a group of thieves who control the prison's basketball court and TV room. To them, everything is potential prey. There are no issues between Sharptooth Gang and you. Maintaining the status quo is probably the best option. The Black Claw Gang is a band of crooks who run the prison's general building and loan sharking. If, they're, uh, if there's any shady business, I bet uh, they you bet they're involved. Be careful what you say and do. If you offend the Black Claw Gang, things won't end well. Okay, yeah. Cool. And then, holy crap, there's a ton of inmates. Rabbits. Goats. Sheep. What is this thing? It looks like a large animal with little round, cute ears. What could that be? Probably an elephant. And then there's Jeffrey. Jeffrey from Toys R Us is in prison, too. He's fallen on hard times. Oh, you can see their names. Hippo, Evan, Bill, Tony... A polar bear, a black bear, black panther, rabbits, raccoon, <laughs> Jimmy the giraffe. All right, cool. Let's talk to our friend Sam. Hi, I'm Thomas, your new cellmate. Hmm. Oh, hi, I was just reading a letter from my girlfriend. I'm Sam, my nickname's Ratchet. As a mechanic on the outside. I work in TV. Hey, no wonder you look familiar. I might have seen your show. Smiley face. Ask how to contact the outside. Sam, is there any way to contact the outside? I need to talk to my lawyer. Yeah, of course. It's a modern prison. You can write a letter like me, or if you're in a hurry, you uh, there's a payphone in the lobby. You can try after headcount, but there's all there's usually a line. Hmm. A phone. Great news, I'll call after headcount. That table looks older than me, but I guess beggars can't be choosers in this place. Maybe I can use it as a simple workbench. A toilet sink combo. Look quite advanced. Hope the water doesn't overflow from the sink when the toilet's blocked. Uh, 
Uh, use the toilet. What happens when food gets digested? Yeah. Okay. Looks like we can raise stats there. Oh, this is storage. Seems to be a piece of paper on top. The prison schedule? This is exactly what I need right now. So we can store items in there. Contraband. Prison rules are very strict. The more dangerous something is, the higher its violation. The cupboard's normal compartments can only store items in viola uh, with violation of two or less. Otherwise, they'll be discovered. Don't worry, there's hidden places in the cupboard and other corners of the cell where items of high violation can be safely stored. Okay, so we can store some contraband. Looks like a rickety iron frame is my bed. The bottom bunk's been taken. I guess I'm on top. You can go to bed after 21 every night. Sleep restores stamina. You have to get up at 7 sharp. Sleeping is not allowed in prison. Oh, sleeping in is not allowed in prison. You also relax in bed if you have magazines or a handheld game. Oh, we can get like a Game Boy? Hell yeah. You can improve the quality of your sleep by making your bed. Prison's very cold at night. You'll definitely freeze without a blanket. Uh, we don't have to beat a head count until 7.45, so... Damn, you seem to have a great relationship with your girlfriend. I envy you. Well, of course, my Nicole's unique. And just to let you know, I get out on parole in two months. I'm gonna marry her as soon as I get out. We've already set a date. More precisely, her mom set the date, but... You know what mother-in-laws are like. So I need to make sure I keep my head down these days. If anything goes wrong with my uh, parole, I'm sure I'll lose her. This girl's the only thing on my on his mind. My Nicole, my little lamb, feels like I'm gonna faint just thinking about her. Smiley face. You befriended Sam the donkey. His rapport will help you. A donkey looks completely ordinary and unexceptional. He plans to keep a low profile for the next two months so this parole application can go through. According to him, his lovely and charming fiance Nicole is waiting for him on the outside. They've set a date for their wedding, and everything is going as he hopes. He does not want any surprises at this critical time. It's interesting. They've written a backstory for everybody. And I just find that so cool that every character... There's lots of characters. There's like three gangs. Some of them are affiliated with gangs. Most are not. Uh, and then they're all... Like, you can befriend them all. That's kind of cool. I like that. Put in a lot of work. What can we craft? Cloth, rope, and a lockpick. Cloth will require bed sheet. Rope will require cloth. And a lockpick will require paper clip and nail. A mint roll up medicine requires mint and paper. Paper crane requires paper. Imagine that. We can make basic screwdrivers, simple pickaxes, glass shanks. Oh, wow, we can shank people. Great. Toothbrush shank and a nail bat. Wow. plant. Oh, this potted plant seems to be made of plastic. If I want to grow a plant, I guess I'll have to wait for the full version. Yeah, okay. Right, no pencil or paper. I need a pe pen or pencil to write, okay? Oh, no pen or pencil. Oh, we need paper though, don't we? All right. Give a gift, trade. Oh, we can trade. Oh. Work boots, coins, spoons, soda, and a metal pipe. Oh, it'll unlock when we get a much better relationship. We could give him a gift, but uh, I only have limited um, paper cranes, so we'll see. All right, let's go to head count. I should go for head count. Single file, people. Ah, looks like I made it in time. Attention. Yeah, the music is great. Settle down, all of you. Head count starting. One, 
two, three, that's 44, 47. Three inmates are absent. Two are in the infirmary and one is in segregation. That is all. Listen up, today's the first of the month, which means some of you, uh, people, <laughs> some more people have joined you. I'll warn you now, do not try to stand out from the crowd. Try to be a smart ass in my domain and I'll show you no mercy. Now let's get down to business. All you newcomers, listen and listen good. Today's announcements. To enable you lazy maggots to earn your keep, the prison offers work assignments. There are still vacancies in the laundry room for now, so any new inmates who want to earn some money should apply to me. Remember, don't be choosy about your job. If you don't want to do it, someone else will. Not interested. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I don't have time to listen to your whining. Dismissed. Prison work? I do need some cash. I only have a few coins left in my pocket. But the top right uh, priority right now is to call Reed. He's probably waiting to hear from me. Look at the shininess of the floor. Ooh. Quest update, the price of justice. Give your lawyer Reed a call. Main building lobby. Rudolph. Is he the red-nosed reindeer? Come on, it's been so long. Did you show my script to the director or not? What? What do you mean you didn't get a chance? You're his, you're his assistant. Do you have any idea how important the script is to me? My entire comeback is riding on it. Seriously, can you just get it together? Don't forget who helped you when you were at rock bottom. He's on the phone. Persuade him to leave, pay him to go, or cancel. Roll them dice. Hey, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Can you... Uh, let me use the phone first. Success. Fine, I was finished anyway. Let's make a call then. Welcome to the prison smartphone. Please enter your inmate number after the beep. Press pound to end this call. Smartphone? I never expected this place to be so modern. Enter 1220 hashtag pound connecting hello inmate one two two zero you can make two more calls today you will be charged ten dollars per call a ninety dollar service charge will be added to your first call i knew it wouldn't be that simple seems this place is more shady than i thought well we got 50 bucks so we may as well try to get that laundry job then I need to find a way to get a hundred bucks as soon as possible. Let's go talk to Bruce. Add attention. What is it? Ask about work. Oh, you want to work? Good. Inmates should keep busy. I have some good news. Right now you can apply to work in the laundry room without good conduct credits. This is a special privilege for a new fish like you. If you're interested, come and fill out the form prison applications uh, current good conduct credits uh, work in the laundry room roof site or in the kitchen hmm. all right let's work in the laundry room your application is approved from now on you can work in the laundry room Got laundry room work permit. A work permit registered by Bruce. Bruce, it will get you into the laundry room uh, during working hours. It's a great job, fish. You'll love it. So how do I get there? Simple. See the fence gate? Go out from there before lunch and a guard will take you to the workplace on the other side of the corridor. But don't try any funny business. The work area is watched by snipers on the tower. You wouldn't want to get your head blown off now, would you? Go to work. You want to work, inmate 1220? Uh, yeah, my work request has been approved. Hmm. You do have a work permit, but I can't find your health certificate for you here. Question mark? You have to go to the infirmary for a physical. You have to pass before you can work. Do you understand? 
Yeah, I understand. I guess I have to go to the infirmary first. Go to the infirmary. According to the regulations, all new inmates must go to the infirmary for a physical. MA1220, do you want to go now? Yes. The guard at the end of the corridor will es escort you. Behave yourself. Oh, we're going in, boys. Uh, you here for a physical? Uh, so are you going to play or live stream sa what saving the Addis? What? Uh, what game is that? Hmm. You mean surviving the abyss? Maybe that's what you meant. Oh, Surviving the Abyss. Yeah, we played that quite a bit. There's videos on the channel for that one. Oh, this guy's name is Bran. Uh, you here for a physical? The doc's in the consultation room. You can go in by yourself. Come to me at, in the corridor when you're done. Don't stay in there too long. Okay, I won't cause any trouble. Infirmary. Congratulations on making it to the infirmary. It may sound strange, but the infirmary is the best place in the whole prison. There's a beautiful doctor, soft beds, and a whole lot of treasures in the pharmacy. Whatever your reason for coming to the infirmary, you can see the doctor once, so don't miss the opportunity. The doctor finishes work at 1730 every day, so don't come too late if you want to see her. Oh yeah, there's the two uh, workers and the, uh, the two who were sick. Wash hands. I'll wash my hands. Ooh, plus two health. Fernando. You calling me? Good friend. Hi, hey, you're new here, aren't you? That's right. I'm Fernando, the ant eater. I've been here five years. As someone who knows a thing or two, let me give you a piece of advice. Question mark? Danger lurks around every corner in this place, especially for newcomers. Best to have some medicine just in case. Well, thanks for letting me know. I was a surgeon before. Helping people's what I do. Smiley face. One more thing. It also means I get to work in the infirmary. I can get all sorts of good stuff. Alcohol. Painkillers. Come to me if you need any and we can discuss the price. Shady face. Uh, I thought he seemed too good to be true. You befriended Fernando the Anteater. His rapport will help you. An anteater with sharp claws, he worked as a surgeon before he was in prison. Because of his medical expertise, he was given special permission to work in the prison infirmary. This allows him to lay his hands on various goodies. If you need medicine or rubbing alcohol, he's the one to see. I would also like to see the doctor. Oh, we can trade. Scissors, painkillers, sleeping pills, rubbing alcohol, glass shank... And a laxative. How lovely. Read the sign. Consultation room. Examine the lock. This is an electronic lock. You'll need to know the code to open the door. Observe around. An intercom? Oh, it seems that even if you come to the infirmary, you can't just see the doctor whenever you want. Answers intercom. Hello, how can I help you? I'm here for a physical. A physical? Oh, come on in. I have some free time. You undergo a brief physical in the consultation room. Hi, I'm Beth from the rec Hi, I'm Beth from the records. I see this is your first time in the infirmary. 
I'm the doctor here. I'm responsible for all of the inmates' ailments, big and small. Every day I leave at 17.30 sharp. I don't like overtime. I understand that. I wouldn't want to work in a prison at night either. If you get hurt during the night, uh, the guard brand will administer your drip. He's not a doctor, but he has some medical training, so you don't need to worry. All right, let's take a look at your test results. Well, first of all, congratulations. There's nothing major wrong with you. Smiley face. But considering the unsanitary conditions here, you can never be too cautious. I'll give you a vaccination to help protect against most infectious diseases in here. Wait, I'll just get it from the pharmacy. Oh, now we get to snoop around a little bit. What should I do now? Get up. The drain looks pretty wide. Maybe it can be used to... Well, I guess such a complex route won't be available in the demo. <laughs> Search. So maybe we can escape there in the future. We found rubber gloves, cloth, and a lumberjack samurai. This isn't a good time to take what's on the tray. There might be some useful information on this computer. Oh, her desktop is such a mess. Search the computer. She'll be back soon. I better not sit here. I'll try again next time. I guess, I guess we don't have enough time to search the computer. All right, we can check that later. Um, I know that we can check her emails and we can learn that the code to the infirmary has something to do with her birthday. And we can look at some other records and stuff, I think, for ourselves. Ooh, windows. I can see the cell tower from across the road from here. It's much higher than the prison walls. Your voice acting is great, thanks. I'm trying. Thank you very much for listening. Are you ready for your shot? Get shot. <laughs> I think we want the uh, doctor on our side a little bit. Let's give her a gift. Oh, do you want to give me something? Yes. How about this paper crane? Gifting. You can raise rapport by giving gifts, but of course, everyone in here likes different things. To avoid making gifts look cheap, you can only give one gift to each inmate per day. This is the most special gift I've ever received. I got something to say. Uh, let's just make small talk. Sure, if it'll help you relax. Did you, did you know that the prison rules say I'm not allowed to talk to inmates? So why are you talking to me? Well, because I'm the only one in the examination room. Have you ever tried not speaking to anyone for a whole day? I sometimes wonder who the real prisoner is. So why are you a prison doctor. <laughs> I'm just a stupid girl trying to piss off her stupider father. Family trouble? Yeah, let's leave it at that for now. Okay, here goes. Get shot. Close your eyes if you're worried about the pain. After receiving a shot in the arm, you leave the consultation room. Got health certificate! Yeah, we got it, chat. We're promoted to healthy. Promota. You passed the physical at the infirmary and can now go to your workplace. Cool. What a thick door. What kind of room could be inside? That's got to be the pharmacy. Peep through the gap. There's rows of cabinets inside. It looks like they contain medicine. This must be the pharmacy. No wonder it's like Fort Knox. Turn the door handle. Handle won't budge. The door is locked tight. Probably an anti-theft lock. It won't be easy to open. 
The pharmacy is a treasure trove in this place. Sir, inmate 1220 requesting to return to Gen Pop. What an interesting game. I know, I agree. Uh, we should be able to go work now. Go to work at the laundry room. <sighs> is this the laundry room? The washing machine is so loud. Let's see what work I can do. He didn't find anything. Box is filled with jars. The labels say softener and water softener. But there's nothing else written on them. They're clearly the cheapest chemical ingredients. Detergent mixing room. The machine is taller than me, but it's tiny compared to everything else here. There are wheels on the bottom. It must have been moved here. Move the machine. Hope I can push it. Success! Ah, oh, this sure isn't easy. Ironing board instructions. The iron, wait, the iron is fitted with an anti-theft alarm. If the iron is disconnected from the power cord, it'll trigger the alarm. So use it with care. You didn't find anything. Yeah, this game reminds me of new brown flash games too. better uh this must be the ironing board the instructions mentioned iron the clothes i hope it's as easy as it sounds start ironing so we actually have to count for this one so i'm going to count out loud you actually literally have to count now get to work piece one is the top ironing is time is 11 minutes <sighs> what did I do to get locked up in here? I forgot to hit the like button on a video that I enjoyed. And now I'm in maximum security YouTuber jail. Or viewer jail. I, I, I mean, I, I always try to remember to hit the like button on content that I enjoyed. And this time I just forgot. Now I'm going to prison. I mean, I am in prison. chat getting info about a cool new demo okay that'll work Susan isn't around anymore that's right all right so we got to literally count so you all ready let's do this so this one was a, what 11 seconds so Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, close. Off by point two. Lol, tee hee. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seconds or minutes? Well, it's counted in seconds, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Damn, that was off by 33. That's bad. Very bad. Hmm. Finished at last. I hope the pay is worth it. Oh, damn. We made 50 bucks. Hey, that's enough to um, make the phone call, though. Let's get some extra money, though. Lunch isn't until, like, another hour. Barb Z. Thank you very much, dude, for the five bomb for the chat, Barbsy. Thank you very much. Gift bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. Let's go. Thank you very much, dude. That is beautiful. Let's uh, let's play let's play a classic. He's pounded down, loaded up and trucking. Are we gonna do what they say can be done? Hell yeah, chat. Let's go. Thank you very much for the gifted memberships, my man. All right, let's get to nine. Here we go. Ready? And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn, up by five. Not bad though. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn, 812, too slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Not bad, we still made 40. Alright, uh, let's get ready to go to lunch. That's enough for now. We can make that phone call before lunch. Time to make some money. Make a hundred. We sure did. Am I serving time on the rock? Not quite. Uh, oh, yeah, we gotta make that phone call now. All right, we can make two more phone calls today. Insert 100 scam down. I didn't know EA actually had a phone network. Insert $100. Connected. <sighs> Looks like it works. It confiscated my business card holder, but luckily I memorized Reed's office number. Of course, there's also another number I can't forget. Maggie's. Who should I call? Uh, we'll start with Reed first. That's... Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Reads law. Your reliable litigation specialist. It's me, Thomas. Oh, finally! I was worried that something bad had happened. It's not that easy to call from here. How are things going with the case? Oh, I was just about to tell you uh, the appeal fell through. I don't know if Angelo did something or if it was the pressure from the mayor, but the retrial was denied. I have to wait a month before I can file another appeal, but as you know, the election is in 21 days. Even if the court does not, uh, even if the court does this, accept it, it's hopeless. Hmm, I expected as much. But don't lose heart. I have some good news. Good news. Do you remember the anonymous phone call you received the night before you were arrested? Yeah, I remember it was a woman. She said she had some evidence that the mayor was taking bribes. I get calls like that every day from scammers selling false information. Yeah, I know you've fallen for it a few times and gotten screwed out of a lot of money, but this one could be real. Remember where she wanted to meet you? A little bar called Baroness? Bear? Bear? Baroness? Uh, it rings a bell. My investigation has uncovered that the bar has some connection with the mayor. But I can't explain properly over the phone. We need to meet in prison. Only you may have to wait a few days. Question mark? 
Well, the prison said there's so many visit requests that all the slots are full and even lawyers need to go on a waiting list. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, I know you're anxious. Do you think you could possibly ask one of the guards to see if there's a way to bypass the waiting list? Oh, might be worth a try. What else have I got to do, right? Well, then we can come at this from both sides. I'll carry on looking for clues. You make, uh, you make sure to be careful in there. Disconnected tone. <sighs> if we can really get our hands on evidence of th their crimes, this is no time to go out without a fight. So, now I have to find a way to solve the visitation problem. I'm trying to call Maggie. Hello, inmate number 1220. You can make one more call today. Insert $10. Maggie, 13819. Hmm. No answer. Looks like Maggie's not home. Try one more call. All right. Let's go uh, chat with this guy about visitation. Add attention. What is it? Ask about visitation. Uh, oh, you have questions about visitation? I heard that the visitation slots are full and even lawyers need to go on the waiting list. <laughs> lawyers? Bro, let me tell you, even if the father of the forest himself came down from the sky, or Henry Ford, God bless him, with the Ford F-150 Extendo crew cab with the same bed space as yet a Japanese vehicle, even though it weighs several extra tons and has unnecessary features and extra things added to it that don't necessarily make it a better truck, but just make it mostly a public nuisance, <laughs> you'd have to wait like everybody else. Question mark? Last month, some son of a bitch injured the guard escorting him during visitation. So now security and visitation's doubled. Naturally, we have to reduce the number of visit rooms. Well, that seems like too much of a coincidence. But I really need to see my lawyer. Is there any way to bypass the waiting list? Hmm. Well, of course there is, but my help comes with conditions attached. Conditions? Do you know that there are three gangs in this prison? One of them is Caesar the Chimp's Black Claw Gang. I need you to go into his cell. There should be a backup ledger there. If you can find it and bring it to me, I'll take care of visitation for you. Uh, why not just toss his cell and find it yourself? Don't ask so many questions. Not your concern. You just have to answer. Will you do it or not? Does he want to use me as his pawn? I have no other choice right now. I need I need him so I can see Reed as soon as possible. I'll bring it. Great. Caesars and Cell Bravo 205. I'll be waiting. Well, I know in order to do that, we need a lockpick. And in order to make a lockpick, we already know we need a nail and a paper clip. So there's that. Well, let's just leave prison. It's easy. Bulletproof glass with a thick iron mesh. Talk about ultimate security combination. All right, never mind. Damn, I thought I thought the door would be open. Damn. Well, we don't have much time until lunch, so let's look around. Deep in thought. That's a bear. I'm hungry again. A friend. Belches. I'm a little hungry again. How can you belch and be hungry? Oh, it's my stomach. I should know if I'm hungry or not. I have to eat more than one meal. More. I have to eat more in one meal than you do in a whole day. And it's almost winter. If I don't eat more, I might not be able to hibernate for long enough. Question mark. But this is prison. There's a head count every day. How can you hibernate? Uh, let Henry the Black Bear teach you something very important. When I want to hibernate, all I do is find a prison guard and kick him up the ass. <laughs> It'll get me a nice VIP room and seg. Then I can sleep for as long as I want. Hmm. 
It's a good idea, I guess. You befriended Henry the uh, Black Bear. His rapport will help you. A simple, honest-looking bear, yeah, right, who's always down because he can never get enough to eat. As winter approaches, he has started to prepare for hibernation. When you express your doubts about whether he'll be able to sleep well in prison, he reveals a surprising solution, segregation. All he needs is to get a private room uh, for a nice, long sleep is beat up a guard. Who will be the lucky one this time? Aaron, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks for hitting that big O join button and becoming a member. Enjoy the perks, emotes, and more. Damn bears. New member, welcome. Oh, that guy. Uh oh. That that's the gang leader. He's totally watching us. Well, I wonder if we can snitch on what the prison guard's trying to do. Asking Raphael to negotiate with the Bigfoot gang was nothing but a waste of time. Those bastards wanted the kitchen all for themselves right from the start. They think we're a bunch of babies. If you ask me, we should let uh, we should set fire to their storage room, show them we mean business. Calm down. Not time to go to war with them yet. Don't forget. About the sharp tooth gang. Alex isn't stupid. He'll be waiting for us to wipe each other out. So we can just wade and take the spoils. Oh, sound great. What about this guy? What do you want, fish? Oh, Alex. Gang matters. The Sharp Tooth Gang controls the prison's basketball court TV room. He's the boss, Alex the Lion. You want something from the Sharp Tooth Gang fish? Learn about gang quests. You want to do a job? That's, that's what I like to hear. I just happen to have a few jobs for an outsider like you. But listen good, I hate failure. So if you take the job, you better not mess up. You gang quests. Go to Bill the Buffalo Cell. Mysterious bag. Can't be a gift. The bag that Sharp Tooth Gang wants uh, to plant in Bill the Buffalo Cell. Remember, Curiosity killed the cat, although you're not a cat. Heck, you're not even feline. <laughs> hmm. We get 80 bucks and respect, and we get two days to do it. Who, what gang are we good with? How do we see that? Well, we're already pretty good with the Sharp Tooth Gang already. And I do like TV. Oh, do we get TV time? Do you think we could play like... Sega Genesis? Boom, 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 boom. Man, let's... Let's do a sharp tooth gang job. Ooh, we can join the gang too. What about their store? One of the three major gangs, we have a number of supply lines. They let us bring all sorts of good stuff inside. You can pay to order stuff and after head count the next day, you'll find it under your bed. Gang store. Oh. Wait, why does it say one out of five? Oh, I think we can buy one at a time. I'm going to need to find a paper clip, too. Cat pinup. A knit cap. Glass shank. Mint roll-up. Canine tooth necklace. Basketball shoes. Paring knife. 
Oh, some things we can. Hell yeah, brother. We got a brewski in here, brother. Hell yeah. Give me that hell, Give me yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. We'll get a beer. Just got to join a gang. Get a little bit of brewski, bro. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, brother. The gang store will be restocked every Monday and Friday. The purchase price for members of the gang is reduced by half. Ooh. Maybe we should do this job first. Uh, Bill the Buffalo of Bigfoot Gang has been getting more and more cocky since he beat our guy in the last bo boxing match. Then two days ago, he cut in line at the cafeteria. Looks like it's time to teach him a lesson. He needs to learn that being all brawn and no brains doesn't work in here. Since he likes to cut in line for food, we'll send him a little takeout delivery. Needs someone to hide this bag under his bed in his cell and report back to me. The cell's in block A. Look for the sign on the wall. So he's the Bigfoot gang, huh? Okay, I think we can do that. What's in the bag? Something nice to make him sorry he ever messed with us. Received mysterious bag. The bag that the Sharp Tooth gang wants to plant and buff uh, build the buffalo's cell. Remember, curiosity killed the cat. Although you're not a cat. Heck, you're not even a feline. Can we look in the bag? Okay. Well, let's go do that. Oh, it's almost lunchtime though. Uh, maybe we can be quick. His cell is... He's in cell block A. Maybe it'll mark it. Uh, does it, did they ever give us the cell number? Hey, what's up, D? D four D. What's up, D four? Diablo 4 operating system. How are you? <laughs> Sorry. I, or Dados. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, I don't think we got a cell on that one. Like, is he hanging outside of his cell? Like, I don't know how the hell to find out who's what cell. I don't want to miss lunch, though, because lunch is good. There's Ray, Richard, Raphael, Frank, Rudolph, that's my cell, Pickman and Wilbur. The wheels of fate have started to turn. The time of judgment is at hand. I must find better offerings. The stars in the ocean will be pleased. Vaku Subth. A cool suit of... What in the Cthulhu hell is that? Alright, I'm not missing lunch. We'll go plant evidence later. Oh wait, there's more downstairs? Wait. Oh, this is like a rec room. Oh, this is the TV area and stuff. Coffee machine. Examine the lock. Read the sign. TV room. Read the high sign. Uh, the latest admission is 2100. Movies on Mondays, Thursdays, basketballs on Sundays. Examine the lock. Don't see a keyhole. Must be magnetic. The Corleone family. Oh, we're on security camera. Can't do anything illegal here. Based on the acclaimed novel of the same name, the chronicles how the lowly mobster Vito the Leopard used his ruthlessness and intelligence to become a mafia boss. The movie was once voted second most popular amongst prisoners. Oh. 
Now we'll come back here later. Ah, okay, so the cell blocks in the top are linked to a rec room and a TV room. Okay. I see. What's upstairs? The cells in the corridor are only two stories, so what could be up the stairs? Hmm, there's a sign. Let's see what it says. Roof maintenance in progress. No entry to inmates without work permits. Uh, there's even an inmate work site on the roof. Although, if you want to get some uh, sun or fresh air in the morning, it could be a good choice. Cupboard's locked, but it's just a pin tumbler lock. It should, shouldn't be hard to open. Unlock new tool. I need a lock pick to open it. Oh, thought we didn't need a lock pick. All right, let's go to lunch. Hi, Billy. Sir, I'm a new prisoner. Number 1220. Hey, relax. I'm not a hard ass like Bruce. My name's Billy. I'm the deputy captain. I'm responsible for the inmates' day-to-day -day lives. Uh, pleased to meet you, sir. Well, according to prison rules, inmates can come to me every week to get their daily essentials. But to be honest, it's never enough, so inmates usually end up fighting over them. Rest assured I won't make any trouble. Hey, don't worry. What I mean is... To make life easier for you, I run a small business on the side. For a little money, you can replenish your everyday essentials. Of course, I also sell a few goodies, too. Well, sounds like a win-win situation to me. Do you need anything? Collect daily essentials. Ah, oh, there's our paper clip. Paper clip? How the hell? What? Why would you give prisoners... <laughs> A daily allotments of paper clips. Uh, well, whatever. Now we have our paper clip. Maybe after lunch we can go buy that uh, nail then for eight bucks. Buy items. Coffee bean, cookie, coffee beans, coffee grinder, play pup. Great. Handheld game, battery, fox pinup. She fox, ma'am. Relax. What is this? Today's announcements. Oh, we already read that. Uh, all right, let's go to lunch. All right, how do we? How do we go to lunch? The bathroom isn't open yet. I'll wait until seventeen thirty. Maybe we have to wait until 12 and then the option becomes available. We also be on the lookout. I haven't seen, I don't know if I've seen this guy yet. But we have two days to do it, so whatever. Guard surveillance. There's prison guards watching you here. Be smart and don't cause any trouble. Remaining XP 5. Whoa, whoa, we need a lot of XP to get any of that. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. I was just looking under strength. Look, at there. there's all these things to get. Surprise attacks, reflex, weapon practice, dealing, combat preparation, concealment, basic medicine, focus up, affinity, extortion, juicy gossip, romanticism, learn how to craft bouquets and scented soap. Everything you need to set the mood. Oh, yeah. Nothing like flowers and uh, Irish spring soap. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I guess we got to wait. Can we have a cup of coffee while we wait? Drinking fountain? I never thought there'd be anything free in this place. I could really use a cup of coffee. Drink hot water. Oh, it's a little like one minute till lunch. Is that a meerkat? Hakuna. 
the hell would a meerkat sound like? No. No, that's... That'd be more like a possum. Uh, I don't know. Chat, what would a meerkat sound like? I think... Maybe a meerkat would sound more like, um... Smeagol? Ah... Maybe, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do Smeagol, or just some voice. What could I do? I tell you, if someone could give me a cold beer right now, I'd be willing to go to Seg for him. Oh damn! It. There's a bear. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a panda bear next to me. God, bears everywhere. Whoa! Beer tastes so bland it could not hold a candle to my excellent spirits. Oh god, that's a polar bear too. Oh, there's two bears. There's a polar bear there. Vel Vladimir's the polar bear. I'm gonna make him sound like Rocky. Say what you want about spirits. Vodka for hope top put air and shit slip it back. Alright, whatever. These guys are boring. All the top cocktails. Alright, we got it. Alright, lunchtime. It's chow time! If I don't hurry there, I'll be le eating leftovers. Oh cool, it automatically brings us there. This place doesn't look too bad. Toil tip hunger. You hungry? Go get some chow. You automatically lose sati every hour when sati... Sati? I always forget how to say that. I'll just call it hunger. When hunger is depleted, you'll feel hu hungry. It's not a good thing. Hunger will cause you to continuously lose body and mind. Tip, you won't feel hungry when while asleep. Hope the taste doesn't disappoint. Skill discovered. Northern liquor. With this skill enabled, you'll be able to craft liquor into Molotov cocktails on the workbench. Oh, is that because I was listening to those guys? I should have read it. I feel bad now. I'm sorry, chat. I'll go into timeout now for one second. Okay. Enable now or maybe later. I guess enable? Enabling. Oh, you can turn them on and off? You got a new skill. You'll find prison is extremely difficult if you don't have skills. Skills can be found in its own tab and abilities. Now you can just need to enable it. Enabling a skill will take up a certain number of skill points. You can spend expertise of the corresponding type to add more skill points. You can forget unwanted skills at any time, but this will cost some experience. Oh. Okay. Northern Liquor Skill Point. Learn the secret of burning. With this skill enabled, you'll be able to craft liquor into Molotov cocktails of the workbench. What the hell am I gonna be setting? Oh man, prison riot, that's prison riot level. Oh my god, these guys all look like they're eating uh, kids' meals or whatever. Cool kids' meals or whatever the hell. Order food, ask about the Cook Brothers. Sticks. I'm the middle of the Cook Brothers. Everyone calls me Sticks. We're triplets. My big brother's a bit of a hard ass, but little brother's a real hard worker. Yeah, see? As for me, I'm not too smart. Always listen to my big brother. Order food. Hey, what you want to eat? Bruh, I'm going to have the... Hmm. Ooh. Bread is free. Uh, I should probably heal body and mind a little bit. Reduces duration of injury by two days. Hmm. Maybe we should go for the apple pie. Who the hell puts a strawberry on apple pie? Is that a thing? It just seems weird. It looks nice. Maybe you'd put a strawberry on like a cheesecake, right? Yeah, I'm playable. Yeah, I'm installing now. <laughs> Pumpkin porridge, the cornerstone of any prison meal. Uh oh. Some people in the chat are self reporting. Alright, let's just have the apple pie. Cheese, my apple pie. Alright, who are we gonna sit next to? 
a turtle, a meerkat, a uh, koala. Well, maybe we can sit next to that uh, hippo. Miguel, an elephant named Jumbo. I'm going to sit next to Jeffrey from Toys R Us. I know his name's Jimmy, but I'm going to just call him Jeffrey. Tip, eating lunch. After a busy morning, you finally sit down and eat, right? But hold your horses. I need to teach you a few things first. Share food. You can share half your lunch with the person at your table. This will increase th their rapport with you. Ask for food. If you don't have enough lunch, you can try asking the person at your table for some food, but it's up to you to make it work. Spike food. If you have a laxative, you can try giving it to the person at your table. Eat or table mate Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Request a Oh, you're having apple pie too? I'll share my apple pie with you. Share your lunch. Would you like some apple pie? I can give you half. How thoughtful. I won't say no. Eat. Eat apple pie half. Where's the apple? I didn't get any. Oh well. Get up. Is that a kangaroo? Hey man, want to learn some prison self-defense? Sorry, I'm not interested. Alright. But boxing's a great way to get in shape. Just think of how hot you'll look if you turn in your flab into muscle. Let me be clear on this. It's not the boxing I'm not interested in. It's you. I'm sorry, but you're not my type. Aw. Prison love. Cafeteria back doors behind this gate must lead to the kitchen. And the gate seems to be unlocked. Well, don't mind if I do. Search. You didn't find anything. Tries to open the door. It won't open. But I can hear people talking inside. Eavesdrop. Damn! This card sucks. Can't lose it again. I borrowed this money. Quit stalling. Deal. Oh, dude, they're doing card games back there. Sounds like they're playing cards. I think I know what this is. Oh, bro, fruit slots? Uh oh, I better leave. Can I shut the door? Okay. Not talking to that panda. Not yet. Recreations in 30 minutes. Oh, there's the guy, Bill. Hey. We agreed. Whoever finishes eating first gets the barbell this afternoon. You gonna back out because you lost? Hey! You call that winning? The rule was you have to chew before swallowing it. You didn't even bite. Hey, that horn of yours block your view or something? You wanna split it out right now and see if the bread's still whole? I don't think I know. You, you, you've you been regulating it and chewing it up again. Regurgitating it. Chewing it up again. Oh, lovely. Let's check the uh, trash cans. Chad, I gotta come up with like 85 voices for this game, okay? So just give me a break. I got like four, okay? Ooh, we found a match, though. <gasps> and moldy bread pog. Well, maybe it'll be useful for making, uh... Uh, what is it called? White lightning or whatever? Prison hooch. Bro, is that a capybara? How the hell do they expect us to eat this crap? Oh, the meerkat. Did you hear? I heard something big happened outside. He's eating pumpkin porridge. Koala. Hey, the money I owe the Black Claw Gang is due today. Should have known not to buy your damn bonds. I haven't even seen a single cent so far. Calm down, buddy. Investi in investing requires patience. Some investors receive their dividends today. Yours should arrive in a few days. 
I can't wait one day. I want to withdraw my money right now. Come on. It's a term bond. Do you even know what term means? That guy's going to die. Chris. Oh, this is the uh, that, that leader, the, the lion again. I forgot his name. I mean his voice, so whatever. Just do as I ask, and I'll make it worth your while. It's an honor to serve the Sharp Tooth Gang. Bet your crap. Listen to what I want you to do. You probably know the Bigfoot Gang and the Black Claw Gang are in a dispute over the fee to the smuggling route. Yeah? Well, they could even end up going to war. Good. Then I have a little gossip I need you to spread around, preferably to Jumbo and Caesar. Hmm. Go on. I think I get what you mean, so what is it? Listen up now. It's simple. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in here. Meow. Now that is smart. This stuff tastes like crap. Is that a skunk? Choose loudly. Caesar. Well, that's the gorilla. Or chimp or whatever. Anything new go down this morning? A rabbit. Tricks are for kids. You want to hear a riddle? Oh, I thought he was going to tell me about the riddle. Are you eavesdropping? I sure as hell am. A turtle. Yum. Tastes pretty good. He's a turtle, so he has to talk slow, chat. Too hot in here. Are the fans just for show? Oh, God, a hippo. Stay back, everybody. I have to be careful of indigestion. Aww. Hey, man. Bro. Buddy. Hey. Cut it out. I told you no credit. You're bleeding me dry. Gotta cut you off. Oh, but we're Bigfoot gang bros. And Sellies. you really gonna be so cold? Yeah, I am. Now stop bothering me. I don't want you to ruin me. Lunchtime's over. Stop loitering around and get out of here. Oh, chat. We only have $10. Uh-oh. Afternoon is recreation time. I can finally get some fresh air. But the yard looks pretty small. Hmm. There's a map on the fence. I'll check it out. Main building, toilet, bleachers, weight pit, general building, cafeteria, basketball court, baseball field, chapel. You are here, vending machine. Recreation time is 13 to 18. No returning to the main building before 1730. Hmm. 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 So, I can't return to the main building during recreation. Hmm. At least there are quite a few places to kill time. Weight pit, general building, even a chapel. I'll check them out. Got Yard Map. The official map produced by the prison shows the yard's building and facilities as well as recreation times. Work out, take a walk around the general building, go to the chapel, praying restores mind. Reward 100 XP. Oh, we need two nails to make the lock picks. Is that to make one? I might need to make two lock picks because there's the cabinet that's locked on the top, but we'll probably take care of the other mission for Bruce. Hey, a garbage can. Come on, nail. A spoon digging tool can be used to dig. Points plus zero when digging. Uh, worn items effectiveness have decreased. Abracadabra alakazam. There's no more space in my pocket. Um. Are you sure there's like an empty spot there? Let me, uh, eat a cookie. 
or two. Seems a little too valuable to pass up a spoon. There's no more space in my pocket. What? Can I not move items around? Oh, there we go. Now we got a full spot. Okay, maybe the spoon will take that. There we go. Cool. So some items take up like half an inventory space, so two half items can stick next to each other. So I guess there's like big items and small items. Makes sense. Found a peanut mine. What do we got on the sign? Lunchtime? Okay, yeah. Kowalski. Hey, new fish! Are you talking to me? Oh, of course! Who else would I be talking to? Uh, what do you want? I didn't have enough for lunch, so I want to buy some snacks from the machine, but I'm out of money. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I want to give you a chance to help me out. Give me half the money in your pocket and I'll let you pass through here or else. Or else what? I'll teach you some prison etiquette. Teach you real hard. Looks like he's trying to extort money from me. Guess I can't expect peace and safety in prison. Hand over the money. Five dollars. I get it. Take the money, I don't want any trouble. Tee hee, smart choice fish. I'll let you go for today. He takes the money and walks away satisfied. Damn. That's seriously unlucky. Hope I didn't run into any other trouble today. The vending machine has real prison style. Whoa, $30 for a caramel bar? What the hell? Yogurt? Nah, from a prison vending machine? That's like gas station sushi. You're... Uh -uh. Th this may as well be a slot machine because you're just you're, you're gambling at this point. So, yep, nope, we don't have any money for that. Well, wait a minute, I never talked to this guy, though. Talking to him is, oh, this is Kevin who needs money. This is bad. A friend, hi. Or wait, should we make this guy German? All right, let's make this guy German. Um, Give me a damn break, I said. I'll pay back some money. I just need more time. I'm in prison. It's not as if I'm going to run. Uh, what? Wait. You're not here to collect a debt? No? Nine? You startled me. I thought I was in for another beating. Oh, sounds like you owe a lot of money. Fuck yeah. <laughs> to the Black Claw Gang. I bought a zitto from Bill to cover the interest. And then two days ago I bought some from Sam to buy painkillers. Oh my god. Then the new issue of Play Pop came out and I wasn't going to buy it at first, but the cover was just too tempting. So I bought a copy from Tony on the, on the credit. And then he said I got a discount if I bought beer as well. So, and who the hell can say no to beer, am I right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolute. I get the picture. So you're just a deadbeat, right? <gasps> no. Nine, nine. Not me. I want to. I don't want to bail, but I have a cash flow problem right now, yeah? How about this? You lend me some cash to help me through this tough time, and when I'm back on my feet, I pay you double. 
How about it? Do you take me for a fool? You befriended Kevin the koala. His rapport will help you. A short koala, the first time you meet, he mistakes you for a thug coming to collect a debt. Turns out to be... It turns out he's a deadbeat who's constantly borrowing money to live it up, but never pays his debts. Once he realizes who you are, he tries to borrow money from you too. Needless to say, his attempt to take you for a fool infuriates you. Alfita Zane, Kevin. Purdy flowers? The weeds here are so tall. I guess no other plants will grow if I leave them like this. Pull out the weeds. Picking plants. What? Just because you're in prison doesn't mean you can't satisfy your green thumb. Plants grow near damp locations in the yard, like vents and fire hydrants. Irises, mushrooms, and mint are all valuable plants that can be eaten as medicinal herbs are used as crafting ingredients. Hell no, I'm not eating prison mushrooms. What are you kidding? Uh, weeds take up space and prevent other plants from growing, so pull them out as soon as you see them. Plants grow automatically every day. The lusher they are, the more items you can get when you pick them. The other prisoners aren't stupid. They're also, they also have their eyes on these plants. So when a plant is very lush, pick it as soon as possible. Rain will make plants grow quickly. Hey, what's up, Devin? You've been looking forward to this stream all day. Loving the game. Rewinding to the beginning. Well, thank you very much, Devin, for watching. You've now caught up to the stream. If you're watching this in the in the future, which you are, I'm sure, as a valued viewer. Thank you very much, dude. Keep your eyes peeled, jewels. Scarabs can sometimes be found in very lush plants. If you're lucky, you might get, uh, you might just meet one. Jeweled scarab. Okay, so let's pull out the weeds, I guess. There are some plants growing on the ground. Surely no one will mind if I just pick some, right? Uh, I don't have any room in my inventory, though. I would pick them, but it's just going to go to waste and probably die. That's a bear. Pick Iris. I can't. I've got too much stuff. All right. Is there a map? Okay. Let's go to, we're supposed to go to, what were our goals? Work out, take a walk around the general building, go to chapel. So chapel or workout. So the weight pit is up there. Need to drop the bag off? Yeah, we need to do that when we're back in our cells, but right now we're supposed to be outside. I guess we're supposed to work out. Guess I'll give this a try. Not good to be scrawny in this place. Want to use the bench press? This Bigfoot gang territory, we're in charge here. Anyone from another gang who wants to work out has to pay a fee. Understand? Either pay up or take a hike. 20 bucks? I don't have that kind of money. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Wait a minute, why is there a question mark here? Is this a quest? What do you want, little fishy? Gang matters. Turn yourself into Bruce and confess. Main lobby building. Whoa. Wait a minute. I've been in prison for one day. And this is two days ago that somebody got beat up. They're not going to fall for that. We would get 50 bucks, but we might end up in solitary. That'll be interesting. Let's do it. I hope the hole isn't as bad as they say. Eh, don't worry, little fishy. Just relax, take a nap, and you'll be out in no time. All right, cool. We're going to solitary, chat. Hell yeah. Gang quests seem like a lot of fun. Now, uh, what is this building? Dot, dot, dot. There's no sign on this building, and the door windows are all locked. How mysterious. DLC area. 
Sign in the door says general building. I guess it's a place for indoor activities. It's locked, but I... It seems really lively inside. Hey, can someone open the door? Stop shouting. You got the entrance fee? Entrance fee? Even this costs money? You're kidding, right? This is Black Claw Gang territory. Anyone who's not in our gang has to pay to come in. That's the rule. It's impossible to do anything in this hellhole without money. Twenty do Another $20? Okay. Well, surely it's probably free to go to church, right? I mean, the church isn't about money. They're all about... They're all about God. Gad. Yeah. We're on a mission from Gad, chat. Stops and listens. I can hear faint... I can hear... I faintly hear people praying. This seems like there's a lot of devout prisoners in here. Chapel notices. Father Anderson of Cyprus Diocese will serve up as prison chaplain this year. He will attend every Monday. What day is it? Monday. Uh, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday to lead prayer and hear confession. Inmates are required to remain quiet and orderly in the chapel and are forbidden to talk to each other or have physical t uh, contact with the chaplain. Uh, note, the prison is kindly supported by the Church of the Father of the Forest, so any act of blasphemy will be considered a serious offense. Wow. Chad, are you trying to s slip me contraband through the fence? What are you doing? I see all those nuggets in the chat. You're going to get me in the hole. Well, I'm already going there anyway, so. I never thought I'd find such a solemn place here. It makes me want to pray too. Pray too? They're making a sequel? Oh, there's a uh, bill. I got nothing to say. I just leave it at that. Please hear my prayer and let it rain every day. Aww. Please make my parole go smoothly and reunite me with Nicole. Oh, Sam's in here. Good. Is that Doge? Oh my god, it's freaking Doge. Whoever's listening up there, please bless me. It's freaking Doge. Hey, a frog. Amphibian language. Croak, croak, croak. A donation box in prison. Is this the, a test from the father of the forest? Prayer, 7th revised edition. O merciful father of the forest, please hear my prayer. Please use your shade to cover my shortcomings. Please use your morning dew to cleanse me of my sins. May your commandments be a mirror in the eyes of the faithful. May your protection be a fire in the hearts of the faithful. May your grace be a nectar in the tongues of the faithful. May your fruits forever flourish, so may it be. Note, this prayer has been newly revised by the Central Diocese Prayer Subcommittee and has been approved by the Archbishop. Lol. A carved wooden door. Hey! Get away from that door! Damn, he saw me. Rob. Keep it down, this is a quiet place. Fish for the secret about the back door. Or what's the door on the right? I really need to piss, but if if that's a toilet, can I use it? It's the inner hall, not somewhere for prisoners to take a leak. Uh, no one goes there without a chaplain's permission, including us guards. Stay away from the door unless you want trouble. Anderson. Hello, my child. Welcome to the Hall of the Father. I'm Father Anderson. I'm here to spread his teachings and administer his blessings. I'll lead you to the true pa uh, path of salvation. Ask about the prayer. Father, I read the prayer. Although I was moved, I don't understand some of it. Can you give me some guidance and clear up any confusion? Uh, the father of the forest would never reject a new shot. A new shoot? What? Though I am his worldly servant... Uh, the power of my words is limited. If you're willing to bear fruit for him, you may take this. Takes out a book from under the lectern. This voice of the forest contains the Father's teachings. It'll clear up your confusion. I'm willing to sell it to you at half price. Uh, I also have some amulets. Carrying one of these will strengthen your, uh, your faith when you pray. 
My child, please don't misunderstand me. I do not have the right to give them as a gift as their property of the church. As his faithful servant, I don't care for money, but any money I receive will be donated to the church. Tee hee. Uh huh. Buy church items. Two. Oh, there's got to be like a gun in there. That book has got to be carved out. And there's got to be like a knife in there or something. That's where you would hide something. Pinto Bless. Wow. Leo is an old school viewer. I miss those, but we, we had to let him go. Bum, 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 bum. Stone Ambulant, Amber Ambulant, Wooden Ambulant. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, Black Betty, Ambulant. Uh, anything else? Sin and Confession. My child, do you feel troubled and find yourself haunted by nightmares in the cold of night? Is it the father of the forest punishment for those who sin and fruit of his holy branches? You must not be tainted by the dirt of this mortal world. Confess to me. I will ask him to cleanse you of your sins and with his morning dew and bring you your soul back to light. Well, I don't really have a nightmare, so... Bye. Well, we went to the church. That's good. I guess we can just walk around until 1730. We can't do anything. Everything costs money. Oh, damn. Can I get the ball? You guys shooting hoops? Let's go. Yo, pass. <laughs> Lol. Hey, Crunchy, can I have my money back? Is that a wuss I can smell? Ah, he's a pain in the ass. What's this building? Oh, that's back where we were. Uh, let's go to the... Maybe there's a trash can near the toilet. Let's go look for stuff. You think there's going to be a rock hammer in the game? Maybe. It's kind of cool because this prison... What I like about this game is that all of the things that we've seen... There's going to be like a secondary character with like a different backstory. So things will be the same but different. Like there could be... A, the prison might be the same but everything here could be completely different. Quick drying glue and cloth. Damn it. I want to take more items. This is a great place to find items. Oh, damn, there's the nails we need. Um. What can we get rid of? Maybe the caramel bar? Yeah. Alright, cool. Now we can make a lock pip. We just need to uh, go back to our like our bunk. Okay, so now we can like um, get that guy's ledger or whatever out of his room. Drop the bread. Yeah, I kind of want to drop the bread, but it could be... I don't know. It might be used for something. It probably won't be, but the moment I drop it, then the next quest will be like, dude, get me molded bread. It'll be like, damn it. I can see the baseball field from here. Not a bad view. Although I do have a few splinters in my butt. Examine the bench. School looks pretty old. Wood is cracked. Feels about... Oh, someone stuck gum underneath? I think I felt something. Feels like a metal part right inside. 
feel what the metal part is. Let's have a better feel. Lighting puzzle. Uh, this is a challenge to test your eyes and brain. Just move all the blocks to the correct positions within the time limit. Left click to move a block to the empty space. You can view the whole picture uh, before you start. Make sure you plan ahead. If you mess up, be patient and try multiple times. It's not as if the blocks would break out of prison. Wait, so what is this going to get us? So I'm trying to make a picture of the bench, I think. I'm not too good at these, chat. Forgive me. Don't worry, I'll go to the church afterwards to uh, confess my sin. I think that's the right spot. Or do they need to be one, two, three, four? Oh, upper right corner needs to be blank. Or no. The hell? I don't know how the hell to do these. I think this would just give us gum or something. Is that all we're doing is just pulling gum off the bottom of a seat? I'm doing this again. Oh, it is just order. has to be the last one. Four needs to go up. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First try. <clears throat> what is this, though? Lol. Got it. There's a slot on a domed head? What? Must be one of those old-style screws I removed uh, last year when I was renovating my attic. This could be turned into a screwdriver with a little modification. Everything has multiple uses here. Remove the screw. I remember that the last slot on the screws is the same thickness of a coin. It should only take a few turns to return. Uh, to turn it. What am I disassembling? One more. Teehee. Got it. That was the last turn. Pick up the screw. A weapon or a material. When equipped as a weapon to attack, endurance costs 10, attack power plus 2, stamp grants 5% extra. Oh my god, it's a it's an incredible weapon. Violation 2. You lose so many screws loose in this place. Can I leave this here? I think I could just leave this here, right? Yeah, I could probably just leave this and nobody will uh, notice it. And I could just pick it up later because my inventory is completely full. Good thing I used that mine thing earlier. That screw looks like it's going to take up an entire... Is that a full or a half inventory slot? I'm just going to chew the gum. Ah. All right, we'll drop the bread. A screw should not take up as much spot as like an entire dinner roll.
I guess I could have also dropped the the wood, but maybe I can combine the wood and screw together to make like a like a kind of a knife. Oh, we can remove multiple screws. Agility test. Oh, I must have earned a, uh, uh oh. Nice, that's big. I think we just come back and get the, this other screw later. I mean, we might need that for something. Can't believe everybody's sitting on the bleachers and they don't notice me messing around for like 45 minutes. A lot of stamina loss on that. Yeah, we could probably just rest. I think that just makes time go forward. Oh yeah, we can just regain stamina. Let's rest for a little bit. Okay, so we went to... Actually, we never actually went in the toilet. Let's see if there's anything... I feel like that's be, that'd be where you hide a weapon. Man, we gotta get together with everybody and play the escapists. I wanna, I wanna see everybody in in order. I can't even open the door. Looks like a vent, but it didn't trigger a quest. I guess I can't be used in the demo. Oh, damn! There's a vent there. So the vent in the infirmary and the vent in the. Uh, near the toilet might be escape routes let's go to the basketball diamond baseball baseball diamond next to the basketball court Boop. you play the escapist too with me how many people can play the escapist too i really want to play that with the the goof troop and see because like i think i played a little bit on my own but i i want to play more we need more uh, troop events. General building we can't get into without money. That building, I don't know what that is. Weight pit. What's next to the weight pit? Oh. I can't even use this? Recreation isn't over yet. Alright, well we'll just chill till like... 17.30. Rest until dinner. Dinner time! Almost 1800. Time to go back to the main building for dinner. You know, I don't even know if at the start of this game if I could actually put my... Uh, stuff in that cabinet. I didn't expect this place to be so lively at night. I'll check out the nightlife before going back to my cell. Lockdown prep at 2130. Prison nightlife. Collect dinner, go to the bathroom and take a shower. Better bring a bar of soap. Watch TV in the TV room on the second floor. Light latest admission is 2100. Don't miss out. Wait, this gives us... Oh, there's different XP this game gives us too. Oh, I didn't realize that XP is not related to just a total pool, but there's like... Each XP is a different thing. So this one will give us intelligence XP at night. Mm-hmm. Let me go back to my cell quickly and drop stuff off. Oh, let's see if we can craft that lockpick. Hey, Sam. I think I heard the click of the lock opening. Oops. Yeah, this game makes me want to play the escapist too. Okay, organize. Hidden. 
I'm gonna have to figure that one out. No way, this thing's violation is too high. Can I put it here? Oh, you gotta click hide. Okay, so we're supposed to bring... I guess we'll keep those things. Drop off coins. Good. Hmm. Where's Billy? Oh wait, he's right there. I can't plant anything in his cell though, can I? Is there a way to find out his cell? Hey you lummox! What the hell you think you're doing? First you hike the route fees, and now you try to stop me collecting my debt? The Bigfoot gang trying to start a war? Good thing you started running your mouth down there, Pip Squeak. I almost trampled you. Uh, haven't you got anything better to do? Out of my way, I got business to attend to. While I'm here tonight, your business will just have to wait. Uh, i just like to say, I'm not trying to bail on my debt, just a little short on cash. I'll pay you when I get the money together. Oh, wait, no, this, oh, God, this, the... I'll pay you when I get some money together. The Bigfoot gang's protecting me for two days. Kevin, my little Kevin, do you have any idea what you're doing? Do you think you can use this lummox to default on the Black Claw gang debt? You're more stupid than I thought. Be ready to pay the price. Ooh, that was close. I almost forgot, chat. Forgetting is verboten. This is nicht fantastisch. The voice acting in this game is amazing. I know. Whoever's doing the voice acting has got to be handsome, smart, handsome, and amazing. And smart and handsome. Well, Bill. All right, Bill's down here messing around. Where the hell is Bill's cell? Oh, you can look at the damn cell. What a weird. <laughs> You can actually see the names. Uh, okay, so we gotta find Bill. There we go. A106. This Bill shell, uh, Bill's cell, should I make the delivery? Yes, we should. Put the mysterious bag in Bill's cell. Hope no one sees me. Failure. Reroll. Oh, we gotta get eight? I feel like there's hundreds of eyes staring at me. I'll try again later. There we go. Critical success. Chat finally started paying attention. That's what it was. All the hundreds of eyes. Ah, oh, it's done. No one should suspect a thing. But really curious about what's in the bag. I should have taken a peek. I tried to, but I didn't think there was a way to do it. Report back to the lion boss. Oh, what time was dinner? Or like, what, what can we do between now and the end of the day? Go to the bathroom and we can grab some food. And then before lockdown, we'll uh, put ourselves in the hole. See if we can report to Bruce. What the hell is this? Is this where I get dinner? Yeah, you're in the right place. I make the best waffles in this joke. Din waffles here? We don't go to the canteen? Are waffles the only thing for dinner? Nothing wrong with waffles. They're tasty and filling. There's nothing more important in prison than a full stomach. It's true. Uh, if you're willing to pay, I can add a spoonful of cream for you. Try it. I'm sure you'll like it. Ask about waffles. You want to know if people get tired of eating nothing but waffles for dinner? Even though they're all waffles, I make different flavors every day. Monday is pre paprika. 
Tuesday's mustard. What the hell? Wednesday's lemongrass. Thursday. Okay, I think I get it. Want some cream with that? You'll like it. Twenty dollars. Cr yeah, cream. P Black tar heroin. That's what it is. Forget it. Oh, what a shame. Did I actually get a waffle? No way I did. Now we better eat. We're hungry. Thanks, bruh. What a weird place to get dinner. Oh, it's European dinner. We're gonna have it a random time. Hope everybody's ready for one spaghetti noodle. Yay! At 18.21, per our tradition. What is that? Oh, right, I can use the lockpick. I forgot all about that quest. Lol. I'm kidding. Europeans have something called mass transit chat. All right, BE205, Bruce said the ledger should be here. Although, do I really want to steal it for him? The cell belongs to the boss of the Black Claw gang. Besides, why would the captain of the guards need to be so sneaky? What's he up to? Like I'm parachuting blindfolded and I have a feeling I'm about to jump in a pit of fire. If I could think of it another way, there's no way I'd take the risk. No, chat, you know what we should have for dinner in this prison is a beautiful roasted uh, cod with potatoes and a nice thing of wine. Something very classy. A very classy meal. That'd be perfect. Very delicious. Or an orange. That would also be very nice. Uh, if I could think of another way, there's no way I'd take the risk. Start the search. You search high and low, but the ledger's nowhere to be found. It's not on the table or under the bed. The only place left is the locked cupboard. Ledger must be inside. I have to open it. Unlock. Oh, do we? Oh, we get two lock picks. Nice. Do it. Do it. Oh, come on, man. Reroll. Success! It's unlocked. Now I can open it. Open. Backup ledger. Sedative. Ground coffee. Needs hot water. Ooh, it can be a gift. Uh, the secret ledger hidden in Caesar's cell, but to you, it's the key to unlocking a door to the visiting room. This must be the ledger Bruce wants. Open it some reads. It's a record of the Black Claw Gang's outgoing money transfers. The largest monthly amount only has an account number. The pay's name is blank. Suspicious accounts. Bruce, Bruce is hoping to find something here. But this isn't my cup. Uh, this isn't my concern right now. I'll just take it to him. CC Luke, welcome aboard as a raptor egg. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Now let's go talk to Bruce. And then I want TV time. I want to go watch TV. I hope the Simpsons are on. Why didn't you get the other items? Because uh, I didn't want to steal everything. Like, I don't know if there'll be enough... Like, I don't know if this game is smart enough to where if I steal their items and then put them in my closet or my, my cabinet or whatever, if they'll, like... Like, I'm trying to lay low as best I can, you even though I just welcome. stole the ledger. It probably doesn't matter, but maybe it does. This game seems like it might be smart enough to keep track of those items. Plus, coffee needs hot water, and I can get that there. But they didn't seem like they were, like, super rare items. I don't know how the game keeps track of that. Um, where's Bruce? He's not at his chair. Oh, there he is. Add attention. What is it? Uh, wait. Prison applications. Ooh, we can increase the number of phone calls we can make a day per th to three. Grant grants four hours of computer use in general building. Ah, oh, that's what's in there. Alright, let's uh, turn in the ledger. Give him the backup ledger. Now, uh, this should be the ledger you want. 
flicks through it and then puts it away. I'm impressed. You actually found it. I just want to see up, see my lawyer. Don't worry. I always keep my word. I'll go to the visitation later and get you prior to visitation privilege. You're one of the lucky fish. You can see your lawyer tomorrow after the head count. Wow. Got priority visitation privileges. Ramota. Yeah. Hell yeah. That mean, uh, the means may not have been completely honorable, but at least you've managed to obtain the privilege. It will help you see Reed, and that's all that matters right now. Hell yeah. I've solved the visitation problem now just to wait for tomorrow. Dude, this is a mega extendo demo, dude. This is crazy. Uh, let's not turn ourselves in yet. Let's go to the showers. Let's hit the showers. Oh, boy. Am I going to have to blur some things? Uh, the humid air is thick with testosterone. Mm. The floor is slippery. Got to be careful not to fall and hit my head. Bathroom. Even though you're in prison, you should still try to be clean and presentable. You can't do that without bathing. If you don't shower for two days, you'll start to smell and your charisma will be greatly reduced. Showering will restore your stamina using soap will also restore your body. You can only shower once a day after all. You don't want to get a reputation as the guy who spends too much time hanging around the bathroom. Uh, use soap. Oh, babe, don't drop it. Nope, I did. That's just what I needed. Uh, can I? I just took a shower. I don't want to get anyone. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea about me. I thought I thought I could go in there to brush my teeth, but I guess I can do that in the cell. Oh, let's go up. TV time. TV time. Piggy bank. Need financial services? Learn about financial services. <laughs> Even if, wow, this guy's a baboon. Even in prison, money's still important, right? Well, this guy sounds like he's going to be a professional banker, like he's giving a TV commercial. That's why the Black Claw Gang provides loans and saving services. Ask about loans. If you're short of money, you can come to us for a loan. We won't charge much interest. And you have three days to do what you gotta do and then pay the money back with interest. A word of warning, the Black Claw Gang hates it when folks don't pay up on time, so you better not try it. Ask about savings. Not everyone in here is broke. Some are even rich. If you don't feel safe having too much money on you, or if you want to make your money grow, then save it with us. We pay high interest, but you have to leave the funds with us for three days. That's everything. Ah, so we can invest. So we can dump off money here and actually, yeah, Rafiki's doing a, doing a side op. No longer is he taking care of Mufasa. He's doing a side op. Mm hmm Boom, 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 boom. All right, well, I don't know what we should do. I guess just try to go for TV time. All right. Well, wait, this could be a quest. Don't waste my time. Gang matters. You gang quests. Remind Kev... <sighs> yeah, we must re remind Kevin the koala to pay the money he owes. We just gotta send out reminders? Everyone should repay their debts, but there's always wise guys who think they're an exception. Oh, this is a hundred bucks. Kevin the koala and Eddie the uh, possum, for example, their loans were due to be repaid last night, but there's still no sign of the money. I need to send someone to remind them that this is, it's best not to test the patience of the Black Claw gang. If they continue to be forgetful. I'll gladly sew reminders to their pouches with a paper clip. Oh, wonderful. A friendly reminder. What does that mean? Hmm, I might be able to persuade them. It just says remind. What 
What are you guys playing? Oh damn, is that uh, is that Pictionary or I mean uh, Trivial Pursuit? What's here? Oh damn, a boxing ring. Oh, what the hell? I already played this earlier. I already played. Uh, what was it called? Punch Club Two. I already played that. This place has a real prison vibe. I can sign up for prison fights? Oh hell no, not against the kangaroo. That guy's crazy. Let's talk to Frank. Want to give it a try? Learn about boxing matches. Couldn't be easier. First sign up with me, then beat the crap out of your opponent the day of the fight. If you win, the Bigfoot gang will give you prize money. Sounds good, but I'd like to know the details. Ask about the schedule. Well, there's two sessions per week, one from Monday to Wednesday, one from Thursday to Saturday, and we're closed on Sundays. It's the, it's the Lord's Day. and We're not heathens, but we may be criminals. The first day of the week, uh, the first day of each session is the sign-up day, and the second day is the betting day, and the third day is the fight day. Also, if you sign up, you better show up for uh, the fight on time. The Bigfoot gang doesn't like being stood up. Ask about the rules. Well, the Bigfoot gang doesn't like too many rules, so you just got to remember two things. One, the fights are one-on-one. -on -one, you can't ask for help. And two, no weapons allowed. We don't give a crap if you use dirty tricks in the ring or get up, up to any shady stuff outside the ring. That's everything. Check the opponent. Here's the sign-up form. Take a look. Oh, hell no. No, I'm not fighting Joseph. Crazy. Why can I see that he has an apple on him? Yogurt, iodine. Pressure, okay, that's for healing. Forward headband, reduces damage taken ton, oh no, 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 no. We'd have to prepare for this fight for a long time. I'd have to first get money to pay the gang to use the uh, weightlifting equipment. Ooh, TV time. Wanna watch TV? The Sharp Tooth Gang runs the TV room. What are the TV rules? Now there's something different, different on every night. For a small fee, you can relax and watch for an hour. The latest admission is 2100. If you're late, you'll miss out. Ask about the TV schedules. Monday and Thursdays are movies. Sundays are basketball games. And uh, other days are North Park. Oh, like South Park. Ho, ho. Burn, 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 burn. Screw you guys. I'm going home. If you can't remember, just... Uh, check the poster there. We spent a lot of money on it. All right, that's everything. Tonight's movie is The Corleone Family. $40? Oh, my God. Like Comcast prices. TV is one of the few mental escapes available in the prisons. So you don't feel guilty about indulging. TV shows... A TV show... The TV shows movies, a sitcom, basketball game, and... Uh, each of which can restore your mind. Movies tell other people's stories, but you can also uh, watch them to learn more abilities. The sitcom is pretty lowbrow, but a little silliness to make you laugh can restore your mind even more. Gain experience by uh, watching basketball games. If gambling's your thing, you can also make things a little more interesting. What, we can gamble on games? Crazy, all right. What the hell is this guy doing? Relax, take your time. What is, is he hypnotizing that guy? Where'd you get cigarettes? Oh, it's prison. Should have known. So is this a Souls game? Yeah. Well, when we were in the church part, it was. Well, I guess we could turn ourselves in and go to the hole. We'll get like a bunch of money for that. I hope I get to keep all my items. Well, actually, let's go. Uh, let's go back to our cell briefly.
perfect smile. Tee hee. I'm getting ready to go into the hole, so. I don't want them to search me. Bye, Sam. I'm going to solitary. You know what? Nicole and I are going to move away when we get married. I'm thinking about Pelicanville or Orberg. I've got friends in both places, but mainly need to get far away from her mom. To be honest, Nicole's mom really doesn't like me. Uh, cool. Do what's right for you. Yeah, it might be better to just avoid the constant struggle of trying to win her approval. And maybe her mom will change her mind about you with time. Right, that's the plan. Okay, uh, let's see if we can turn ourselves in. I should beat up a bear the first day, you know, just to really assert dominance. Turn yourself in. I beat up Walter. I hear you're looking for the guy who put the skunk in the infirmary. That's right. Why, you know something, Fish? Your search is over. I'm the one you're looking for. Hmm. And I remember when it happened, it was the day before you even got here. That's right. That's what. That's even what I said, too. Uh, that's because it doesn't matter. A win's a win. Now listen good, Fish. It made 1220 Thomas the Fox. According to prison rules, assault with a weapon is punishable by six hours of segregation to administered immediately. Six hours, that's it? But I still get my visitation time with my lawyer. That's hilarious. Uh, off you go. Time for a little vacation. Stand at attention. This a luxurious single room is where you'll be staying soon. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mons. Ah, hell, let's just do another German. I'm Mons. And I'm in charge here of segregation. This is a prison within a prison. Dedicated to the care of prisoners amongst prisoners like you. Remember, there's no food, no warmth, no friends, no mercy here. All you can do is sit tight, count down the seconds, and then be grateful when you get sent back to the main building. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Very good. The next routine is Frisk. There's no contraband allowed in SAG. Thank God I put my stuff away. Now, assume the position. Uh, ho-ho. I failed. How do you fail a frisk? I, I succeeded by putting every. Wait, what? hold on a second. This is one weird part about the game. He's in charge of frisking me, but I put all the items back. The only thing that this should do is like if I have contraband on on him, he can't find it. But I guess I'll just re-roll just to see. Yay! First try. Ah, you're a lot cleaner than I expected. Now you get to enjoy some alone time. Control room! Open segregation cell 4! <laughs> Alright then. Hey, we got a hundred bucks. Hey, how do we collect our money? I guess we gotta go back and talk, yeah, talk to the elephant. Special delivery's done. Oh, I just had to talk to the lion boss. Ooh, 80 bucks plus another 50. And a hundred for beating up these two. Well... Maybe beating them up. Being stuck in here feels like even time has, itself has stopped. Claustrophobic feelings really starting to get to me. Face out or get up. Smells worse than the toilet in my cell. Just standing here is making my eyes water. Uh, we already did that. Is this what passes as a bed in segregation? Looks like a cold, hard stone slab. Can't sleep this early. Face out. Oh, we oh we're losing our mind here. Interesting. Uh, 
When do we get to sleep? I thought we got to sleep at 2100. Let's try that. Sleeping here is a form of torture. Yeah, same with the best Western. Hey, what's up, Paul? Welcome to the stream, dude. Segregation, day two, 7 a.m. Tuesday. Segregation, cell phone, inmate, one, two, two, zero. Your segregation is up. Ooh, it hurt our health. But we got money. Move your ass, one, one, uh, one, two, two, zero. Time to go. Aus. Schnell. Mark Schnell. I hate SEG. It drives me insane. They should put different music there. It'd be a good spot to put in some really weird music. Hi, Sam. Okay, well, now we get to get all of our money today, and we get to talk to our lawyer. We need 10 bucks for that, so we got to go talk to everybody else first. What's up, Sam? Anything new? Hey, buddy, you want something? Yeah, I like Sam. I'm going to be sad when he gets out. Well, let's rest for a little bit. Oh, we don't get any stamina recovery? I think we just go to headcount now. Actually, wait. We might be able to go around for 45 minutes and chat. Oh, you have to go to headcount right away? You don't even get the 45 minutes? Attention! Right, shut your mouse. Head count's about to start. One, two, three. That's 47 of 47. All inmates present and accounted for. No surprises in this head count. That's good. Remember, any surprises for me will mean the world of trouble for you. Now, I got a real surprise for you. A chicken? Is that the mayor? Oh, it's the warden. Warden. Just about to read these fellas your announcement. Why are you here in person? Oh, Captain Bruce, I appreciate your willingness to share the workload. But I prefer to give the news to these kids in person. It's my duty, after all. Despite my leg problems, not too much trouble to get here from the administration building. If I couldn't do that, then I'm sure the board would ask me to retire. Wouldn't you say so, Captain Bruce? I do declare. Foghorn leg, I mean, uh, retire. No, I never thought about that. Oh, I know you didn't mean that. Allow me to say a few words to everyone. Uh, yes, of course. Stand at attention. Warden Clark's about to make an important announcement. Stand up straight and listen carefully. Eyes and ears open. <laughs> I see our captain is still as spirited as ever. He's taking so much burden off me. Oh, ho. Hmm. I've seen some new faces over the last few days. I hope you can all live peacefully in your new home. The announcement I have for you today relates to just that. I hope you all forgive. Uh, I hope you all give it your full attention. Today's announcement to show to show just how humane our correctional facility is. A decision has been made to give our inmates a feeling of home. We'll be starting a package service as well as letters. You can now also receive packages from the outside. The weight is limited to 10 kilograms and the size cannot be bigger than a shoebox. I hope you'll abide by prison regulations and not attempt to smuggle in any contraband which will be confiscated if found. Warden Clark, Prison Administration Board. Don't go skimming off the top. No contraband? Hey, show some gratitude for the warden's kindness. Dismissed. Fish, you stood up so straight during the head count, it really made me want to pin a medal on you. I'm not interested in your medal. You know what I want. Oh, right. I'll quit messing with you. I just heard from visitation your lawyer's been notified. Get your ass to the visiting room. But remember, don't go causing any trouble. And don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. And this is the right time. 
Why isn't he here? Thomas! Stand at attention. I will now repeat the visitation rules. If you understand, say I understand. One, no touching the glass partition. Two, no loud noises. Three, the time limit is 30 minutes. I understand. Now, take your seat and don't try anything funny. I'm watching you. I read. Hey, buddy. Came as soon as I received a notice from the prison. How are you? Never thought it would be so hard to see you. I'm fine. I have food and clothes and I don't have to pay rent and now I get to see my old friend. Yeah. Well, looks like you're okay. Came up with some words to comfort you, but I guess you don't need them now. Uh, to be honest, I'd still like to hear them, but now might not be the time. We only have 30 minutes. We need to hurry. Sure. I know the thing you want right now is to take those bastards to take take down the bastards and set you up as your partner I feel the exact same way so tell me what clues have you found well remember I told you I investigate the Baroness bar you said there was a lead relating to the mayor that's right I did some digging and I found out the mayor's former driver was a regular at that bar wait former driver bingo Looks like a prison has indulged your journalistic instinct. I say former because that driver who goes by the name Domino disappeared six months ago. Question mark? I did everything I could to find out his whereabouts. Eventually, one of my contacts in the police found a file about this prematurely closed case. It was a car crash. Also, six months ago, the driver that died was none other than Domino. The mayor driver died. The mayor's driver died in a car crash. Strange, right? Even though he was the mayor's driver, the case didn't get any coverage. Even you didn't hear about it, and you're the best reporter I know. So you mean... It looks like somebody wanted to silence him. Wherever the truth is, there's over a hundred bars in the city, but that caller specifically chose the one where Domino was a regular. Baroness. Probably not a coincidence. So you think whoever called that night Definitely had something valuable to say. Yeah. Even if she didn't really have a recording, I might still have something to do with Domino. Hmm. I guess I'll find her. I'll buy the game if the developer hires Raptor to do the dialogues. I'm trying, man. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. It's good. It's very nice to have chat enjoying it. That's exactly what I'm here... That's exactly why I'm here today. She's very cautious. Baroness was a relay station. The bartender said she wouldn't be easy to find now that we've missed the meet. Unless she left some other message at the time, like a code for her identity. A code for her identity? Hmm. What, what is it? Do you remember something? Well, I remember that night I took the call. Are oh, we going to have a flashback? Oh, we, we might see outside the prison. It was late, and it was raining outside. Oh, damn, we're getting a flashback segment. Oh, no way. Flashback, yeah. Maple Road apartment block, three months ago, 1 a.m., rainy. Mm-hmm. Cool. Ooh. Cutscene. Classy. I was just going over the day's interviews. Hmm. The data shows that the lung infection rate of residents increased by 25% after the chemical plant was built. And the incidence of skin diseases in children shot up by 40%. Holy crap. It's late. Hope it's not some sales call. Hello? Are you... From Woodpecker TV? Yeah, who are you? Get $3,000 in cash. I have... You want. Or $30,000. Uh, something I want. I have evidence of the mayor taking a bribe. I know you're investigating it. Yeah, since the report, everyone knows I'm investigating it. But I'm not going to lie, I've encountered a lot of people claiming they have information like you, but it can't, it always comes to nothing. Hey, you know I'm lying. You think I'm lying? Do you know how much of a risk I'm taking by calling you? Sorry, miss. I'd like to believe you, but... I've fallen for too many scams lately. 
If you fell for them... Wait, we've got to go for a lady. Uh, it, if you fell for them, you weren't smart enough. But if you don't believe me, you're stupid. Listen up. I'll only like this once. It's up to you if you bleak or not. I have a tape of the mayor taking a bribe. Bring 30000 in cash to the Baroness Bar at Skid Road tomorrow. You can find the in the red in front of your apartment building. Just show it to the bartender when you get there. You can find the red... That must be mailbox, maybe? Uh, remember, only wait one day. Wait, the red what? You just broke up. Wait, hey. She was in a real rush to hang up. I'll look for the thing she mentioned. I'll see if anything... If I find anything, then I'll decide whether to believe her or not. Cool. This is the coolest part of the game so far. Raining cats and dogs. I should have brought an umbrella. Well, that's got to be the trash can. A red trash can? I doubt she'd hide anything in there. Ugh. Not even the rain can cover the stench. Pretty sure what I'm looking for isn't inside. Alright. Fire hydrant, maybe? A fire hydrant. Of course. What could it be redder than that? But the rain is so heavy, even if she'd put something on it, looks down at the corner, would have been washed into the drain by now. Oh. A uh, phone booth, I bet. Better not wander too far. No, no, no. Car? That's not a red. Rainy days aren't all bad, but at least my car gets a free wash. Poor thing, I haven't maintained it properly since I bought it. The right wiper broke ages ago, and the trunk is always unlocked. I promise I'll take it to the repair shop when I get paid at the end of the month. Oh, that's how they were able to maybe plant evidence in my car earlier. Or somebody did. Or I guess later. A billboard with red ink on it. Apartments for rent, only 2000 per month. Limited availability. Don't miss out. Call now. It looks exactly the same when it was put up a week ago. No special marks have been added to it. This can't be what I'm looking for. Although, has the rent in this building really gone up to 2000 I guess I won't be paying 1500 for much longer. Oh. Um. Redford Street and Maple Road. This road sign has the word red on it. But I don't think she's interested in playing word games. Question mark? A pot of red flowers? If she wanted to hide something on a busy street, it would have definitely been a good place. Hidden in plain sight. I'll take a look. Aha! The soil in this pot seems to have been disturbed not long ago. Carefully feels around. I think I found something. Take the thing out of the flower pot. Woo-wah, wah, woo -wah. Oh, dear. A card. Luckily, it was buried quite deep. It's still dry. Let's see what it says. Not even English? Baroness. That's an interesting name. Oh, what's this? Looks like it's been stamped on. Looks like a loyalty stamp. Usually uh, three for a free drink. Enjoy our late night Carnal Pleasures. Is that the name of a cocktail or something else? Ninety-six Pink Lamp Street. Turn left at the back alley. Hours dust till dawn. 
Back alley off Pink Lamp Street. Did she leave this because she's afraid I won't be able to find the address? Just an ordinary business card, although it seems they offer more than just drinks. Guess she's probably not trying to lure me uh, to the bar and bleed me dry. If Reed ever finds out what happened tonight, I'll never live it down. Damn, I was trying at the end there to turn the ambient sound up so I could, like, hear the rain, because that was pretty. So, she didn't leave the card because she was worried I wouldn't be able to find the bar. She left it because there's a code on it. I think so. The card, uh, the card had a red, the card has a pattern stamped on the back. At first glance, it didn't appear to be anything special, but it looks like a maze. I thought it was just the bar's loyalty stamp, so I didn't take any notice of it. A maze? Yes. That's what we're looking for. When I was an intern, I used to spend a lot of time in the alleyways of Skid Road. The alley girls created their own way of soliciting customers to avoid being detected by the police. They take their information like species, age, vital statistics, and uh, simplify them into line patterns. And of course, their names and where to find them. Uh, then they uh, distribute the patterns in places frequented by pl potential clients. Places like Baroness. Exactly. Some of the more expensive alley girls embroider their patterns on hotel napkins, while some take the cheaper ones graffiti uh, their, theirs on alley walls. But the one looking for you had a stamp engraved on the bar's Baroness card, the business card, which does make things convenient. If a customer requires her services, the bartender can translate the pattern and then there, then and there. And that's why she told me to show something to the bartender. And it seems that if I take this card back to Baroness, I'll be able to inquire about her whereabouts. Hmm. That business card. I remember putting it in my wallet. It didn't touch. I didn't touch it again after that. Then I had my wallet on me when I was arrested, so it was transferred here with my other personal belongings? During intake, the guard told me my personal belongings would be kept in the prison storeroom until I'm released. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so we got to get in there. Interesting. I'm buying chat drinks. Oh, boy. Chat. So, the one thing we need is stuck in the prison storeroom. I guess that means the task of getting it falls to me. Remember for your innocence and freedom. And to bring down those sons of bitches. Hey, as your partner, I won't let you get go it alone. I got a little something for you. Something good that'll make things a lot easier. A Raptor membership. Click or tap join to become a member today. Only 99 pennies to start. Upgrade to a Raptor Ultimate or a Sigma Raptor today. Also, join the Discord. Links in the description giveaways and more for everybody on the discord but anyway make sure you at least subscribe and smash the like button i totally know you won't but you should totally do it something good the guards eyeing us i can't say much anyway when we're finished go get the thing i sent you i'm sure you'll figure it out smiley face oh we get packages right i'll figure out how to get the thirty thousand dollars together it's not a small amount Thanks. You always have to clean up my mess. Give me a break. You owe me more favors than you can possibly pay back in one's lifetime. Inmate... Oh, I forgot this guy's voice. Inmate 1220. Time's up. I guess it's time for me to go, buddy. Call me when it's done. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Take care. Alright, so we gotta go to the package room. Act 1. Card. Oh, Raiders of the Lost Card. Hmm. Inmate property storeroom. I can tell from the name that no prisoners are allowed anywhere near there. And if I want to get in, I'll have to at least find out where the prison, where it is in the prison first. Just before the visit ended, Reed said he'd sent me something. Something that would make it easy for me to move around here. First I'll get my hands on whatever that is. Might be able to help. Oof, health looking bad. Oh, that's right. We'll get a nice lunch today. And a bunch of people owe us money. Find Billy and get what Reed sent you. Oh, no. Billy? Oh, boy. I planted evidence in Billy's place. 
Uh oh. Quit following me around, Pipsqueak. But Bill, you promised to protect me as so those Black Claw Gang guys are watching. Hey, is your brain not working right? Or you just think I got a bad memory? The deal was $20 for one night's protection. I'm off duty. I can I can get another day on credit. Just one more day. I'll even make it. Take half a day. I'm going to play a few hands at club this afternoon. You know, I got skills. Maybe I can... You seriously asking for me me for credit? Not unless you're willing to give me a few teeth as a deposit. Oh, we got to kick this guy's ass too. Hey, can you kick his ass for me, Bill? I'm supposed to do it. Hey, man. Uh, I mean... <clears throat> hey, man, can you think you can help me out of a bind? Uh, we need to collect the debt. Remind him to pay back the money. I've come to negotiate with you on the behalf of the Black Claw Gang about paying back the money you owe. Things have been tight lately. Yesterday, I even lost an underwear, my underwear in a card game. Who that? What the hell? Who the hell would? Why? Why? What? It looks like I need to have a little chat with him. Physical discussion? Oh, he's gonna be such a pain in the ass. This guy's such a little weasel. All right, there we go. Lucky us. Okay, okay, I get it. Please tell the chimp boss that I'll get the money together by tomorrow. Hey, what you calling me for? I'm supposed to talk to you, I think? Hi. Ah, uh, what do you mean, hi? You looking for trouble? No, I want my damn package, Bill. I'm just saying hi. What's the problem with that? What's the problem? Big problem is you're new here. Saying how things are done in the big house. Hey, hello, yo. They're all, they all have their own meetings. Unless you want... A beaten, you better figure out, uh, figure it out before you open your mouth. Um, I still don't get it. What's the difference between those words? Re. Did I hear you right? Did you just say um? Now you really pissed me off. I'll give you one last chance to use the wrong word again. I'll have no choice. I uh, forget. It. I better not say anything. Great. Hot tempered buffalo is right. Oh, never mind. It was Billy. Wait, there's a difference between Bill and Billy? Wait, Billy's the guy... Wait, never mind. I, I missed... I missed... Mistaken the... freaking water buffalo for this guy who stands here. This guy. Do you need anything? Well, uh... Ask about mailed items. Is this the place to collect things that have been sent from the outside? That's right. What do you want to collect? A letter or a package? Uh, maybe a package? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference. What? To tell you the truth, the mail room is too busy to handle all the incoming mail. And now the warden's gone to introduce package service to boot. I'm sure you heard. The guys in the mail room can't even keep up with inspecting the mail, let alone organizing and sorting it. So you can imagine it's a mess when it gets handed over to me. Looks at the cart next to him. It's all here, but I don't have time to sort through it today. If you want to collect something, you got to search for it yourself. Good luck. Wow. Hmm, letters and packages are all mixed together. There's also a lot of Billy's goods in the corner. Looks like it's going to take some work to find my mail. Let's start by seeing what's piled up. Wait. There we go. Yay. I'm getting better at these chat. Yay. I'm getting better at the slidey puzzles. Uh, the pile's a mess, but it seems that most of the items for prisoners in cell block A are on the right. In that case, I'll search from right to left. That way I should be able to find it faster. Carefully identifies the recipient. Found it. Looks like it's this envelope. Oh, Reed. Sure have terrible handwriting for a lawyer. Put the letter in your hand. Got Reed's letter. The mysterious letter from Reed apparently contains something that'll help you move around the prison. Go to the table in your cell and open it. Place is full of prying eyes. Better go back to my cell and open it. Before we do, this guy owes us money. 
Hey, Fish, how was your visitation? Feels good to see people from the outside, doesn't it? Thank you for the visitation privilege. Oh, this is the tip of the iceberg of my power. A lot more privileges I'm able to grant. Like getting you a single cell or more daily phone calls. Even keeping fish and flowers in your cell, anything can be arranged. What are you trying to say? Listen, good. These official privileges are stuff like work assignments. They all need quite a lot of good conduct credits before you can apply. But it ain't easy for a new fish like you to save up uh, that many. You need to work hard and every day, every day and pe be careful not to screw up. So, I'm a reasonable guy. I don't like to see you new fish get a raw deal. So I've come up with a special fast track, just like how you helped each other last time. You need a few, er you need to run a few errands for me. And you get special approval for lots of good conduct credits. The more you do, the more you'll earn. That's what I'm trying to say. Think about it. What are your quests? Finish reading a life's escape in the general building. I need money to get in there. A friend Miguel, Pikmin, or Wilbur, or eavesdrop. Listen to conversations between inmates. I can do that. Let's start there. Keep your ears open. Uh, don't you owe me money? Oh, no. That's right. He just got his visitation. We got to talk to the lion and... Uh, somebody else. What do you want, fish? Uh, can I have my money now? Deliver quest. Good job. Don't have to worry about the rest. We'll take it from here. Make sure the guards give that idiot buffalo an extra large helping. Alright, now we got 80 bucks. Whoop. Who the hell else was I supposed to talk to? Elephant. And we gotta talk to the possum, too. We gotta watch TV, but I need I need a lot of money to watch TV. Yeah, we should have just taken the bribe. The Black Clock Gang might make a move soon. You better you have to be smart. But boss, business is good. Why do we have to fight them? Not that I'm doubting you or anything. It's a little curious. Is that a hump of yours? Oh, it's a camel. Is that a hump of your diverting the blood to your brain? It's obvious. You're trying to force the Black Claw Gang to cede the general building to us. I don't think we can convert it to an indoor gym. And water won't run down into our butt cracks when we pump the iron in the rain. Didn't I tell you so? What do you want, little fishy? I'm here to turn in the quest for Fall Guy. I'm out of sag. Bruce shouldn't make any more noise about Walter's beating now. Good job, little fishy. Didn't think he had it in you. Gotta say you're tougher than you look. 50 bucks. Nice. Alright, so now... Gotta go to our cell and read the letter. Gotta talk to the possum. Gotta listen to inmates. That'll be easy. That'll just happen randomly over time. Uh, we need to find an opossum. It's gonna be impos impossible. <laughs> it's gonna be impossible. Please. Yeah, it pleases me too. That's a good one, Chad. Uh, he could be on work duty. Hmm. Bill is an otter. Or a seal? We're looking for blue. These guys were blue. That helps narrow it down. We're just looking for anybody blue. Abadi Abadai. We're in we're in B block, right? Yeah. Maybe we might find him at lunch.
Oh, that's weird. That guy's wearing like an orange uniform, but... His portrait is orange, but his uniform is blue. Looking for the blue guy. Ah, uh, nobody... I can't see him. Alright, he's probably, um... He's probably working somewhere that we can't access right now, so we'll see him at lunch, probably. Or in the rec yard. Uh, let's see. Read Reed's letter. Uh, let's take a look at the envelope first. Contents of this letter have passed inspection. Prison mailroom stamp. Resealed envelope. Looks like every letter sent into the prison is opened and inspected. Youthful memories are a tonic that offers you an escape from misery. Your friend Reed. Hmm. Youthful memories. Has Reed finally lost his mind? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything special about the envelope. A photo from college. I was so young back then. Oh. He's telling us to bribe the officers, like give them gifts in order to make it through the area. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Judy, Maggie's roommate. I had a crush on her at the time. I mean, what fox wouldn't like a rabbit? Oh, yeah. Uh, but I guess it's hard for a rabbit to like a fox. Lady Maggie... Later, Maggie mentioned that she married a moose after graduating. I guess you could... Uh, you never can tell how things will turn out. Maggie sure looks angry. Her forehead is wrinkled from ear to ear. I admit I didn't realize she liked me at the time. I always thought she preferred the punk type. I never thought we'd be together for six years after graduation. I was so introverted back then. Just the thought of giving a gift to a girl would make me blush. I just remember that I was so nervous that my mind went completely blank and I was rooted to the spot. But it was taken by Reed. He always liked he always was screwing around. I never took anything too seriously. Who'd have thought that after graduating he'd become a lawyer while I'd pick up a camera? Ah, that's enough reminiscing about the old days. If Reed sent me this photo, there must be some message hidden in it. Maybe the clue lies with the four of us, but what could it be? Judy's ears, Maggie's short, my gift, Reed's glasses. Not right now, it's my gift. Hmm. My memory serves me right. It was a stupid gift. One of those, one of Reed's terrible ideas. Could that be the clue? Are we doing a flashback? College dorm. One day, seven years ago. Can't remember what time it was. Thomas. Oh my god, they're nerding out. They're playing D&D. &D. Oh my god. What did you just roll? A nine? Uh, a three and four? Looks like I'm short by two. Damn. If your arrow misses the gnome, I'm dead. Hmm. Alright, let me think. Use ultimate focus rolling shot. Use invisibility potion. Ultimate focus. I could use this card. It adds two hit points. Hang on. You only have one focus point, but it costs two to use this card. Also, it has to be used before the attack, but you've already finished making it. Fine, I guess I messed up. Cast the rolling shot. Maybe I'll hit him this time. Come on, man. The skill description reads, grants an extra shot after moving. Have you forgotten that you just got hit by the phantom spider's paralyzing web? Oh, yeah, I can't move for two turns. Use the invi in invisibility potion. Uh, maybe I can throw you this potion so you can dodge the monsters next turn. But the bow and the arrow is a two-handed weapon. I remember you haven't learned the three hands specialty yet. Without an extra hand, according to the rules, you can't throw anything. I guess that makes sense. Give up. Oh, looks like we'll have to restart the quest again.
Hmm. You seem distracted. Uh, do I? Very. You rushed at a horde of monsters right at the start of the quest, didn't pick up any items, and didn't use invisibility. It's almost like your raptor and his streams. Come on. Your class is a ranger, not a berserker. Oh. Sorry, I should have concentrated more. Hmm. Well, still worrying about what to gift you... What gift to get for Judy? Uh, I'm right, aren't I? I can read you like an open book. To be honest, I'm not even sure I want to give her anything this time. You know, ever since I moved, or ever since I asked her to the movies, she's been acting weird to me. Man, why are you always so hesitant when it comes down to the crunch? I didn't see you being overcautious when you were against those monsters just now. If you fail a quest in the game, you can just start again. But when it comes to feelings, sometimes you only get one life and no continues, man. Fringe. But true. Why are you looking at me like that? I just thought of a way to make you invincible in your love quest. Uh, and what would that be? Dramatically hushed voice. Brave adventure. Go to the bookshelf on the left right next to my camera. There you will find a film canister. Open it, and a great treasure will be revealed. Put aside your doubts, adventure. You cannot even shoot a monster. Trust in my guidance. Very well, Master Reed. Guess I'll go take a look at the bookshelf then. After sitting for so long, I, I could do with stretching my legs. I'm going to the fridge first. This weekend is the Honey Festival. If previous years are anything to go by, it's time to restock the fridge with a dozen honey beers. Chat, this, we have been playing this for three hours, and this is a Steam demo. This is a freaking demo. This is not the full game. This is just a demo. Demo. D-M-O. Uh, hold on. Whoa, okay. All right, that'll do. Uh, if previous years or anything to go by, it's time to restock the fridge with a dozen honey beers. Okay, bye. Uh, riding flying dinosaurs to protect the mechanical planet from evil invaders. This movie's so cool, I really want to see the sequel. Reed's precious camera. To be honest, his photography skills aren't up to much, but I can never say no to his face. Looks around the camera. Hey, I found the film canister. Introduction to law animal crime cases. Has Reed started reading these books lately? Tabletop games, law. He's always had an interest in complex rules. Oh, God. He's like Uthras. Uh, I'm not sure hanging a dartboard on a door leading to a corridor is a good idea, but at least there haven't been any accidents so far. Yeah, I'll just watch a little TV. We've been playing Perilous Odyssey for most of the year, but it seems we're still only on the second chapter. At this rate, it'll be years before I get revenge on the Dark Lord. Reed hasn't touched it since last Friday's father-son fighting game night. Maybe I should have let him beat me a few times. Hey, Reed, do you want to... No thanks, Dad. Lol. City news, international affairs. Let's go, Wonder Chef. I'm Gordon, and welcome to today's episode of Wonder Chef. As we all know, the invention of plant-based meat substitutes has changed our world, but no one has ever successfully elevated it to the heights of culinary greatness. That is until now, my special Honey Festival Sweetness Meatless Pie will finally bring meat substitutes to, into the limelight. First of all, you need 500 grams of T-bone plant steak, and now the bones should be made of compressed grain husks, and the uh, ones should be made of sawdust belong to the garbage. T-bone plant steak may as well eat your... Oh. A plant, a T-bone plant steak may as well eat your 
money and save time. All right, let's go for whatever he wants for the gift. Open the film canister. Let's see what Reed has in store for me. Found clear solution. Clear solution and hidden the film canister. Will it help you confess your love? Not unless it's magical. Reed, what the hell is this? There's no film in the canister, just a small bottle of clear solution. Reed, what is the bottle? It's not the, some knockoff cologne, is it? Of course not. It's a magic mixture that I painstakingly developed. What the hell? Bro. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What does it do? I borrowed it from the school's darkroom. It's a special photographic developer that changes color when exposed to high temperatures. You know, the advanced math finals are pretty tough. I need all the help I can get. Whoa, what? Reed, what the hell? But to help my best friend with his romantic struggles, I'm willing to give it to you. I'm, I'm confused. You're worried that you'll be embarrassed to see Judy again if she ref rejects you, right? Well, this will let you avoid that. So first, you write a poem confessing your undying... Oh, God. Undying love. That's your fort, right? Then, uh, use the developer like ink and write some write your poem on something but it has to be something that gets hot when you use, what the fuck read this is so much work but it has to be something that gets hot when you use it wrap it up and give it to judy so you mean if she has feelings for you she'll definitely you use the thing you give her and see your love poem if she doesn't have feelings for you even if she oh god bro so much work write a poem in like invisible ink and if she likes you she'll be warm near you but it'll be a temperature above body temperature and what the hell's the body temperature of a rat? I don't even know what species this girl is has anybody been paying attention I want to go back to the fridge Can we go back to the fridge chances are she won't use it in that case she'll never find out about your secret crush on her right this is so cringe dude uh, but what is something that gets hot when you use it let me think. Frickin' a taco? I don't know. How about this magic crystal ball lamp that came with Rich Witchcraft the Collector's Edition? Just imagine your poem being projected on the ceiling. Oh, God. Projected on the ceiling of Judy's bedroom. How romantic. This is cringe. So, I almost said Sebastian because of the red panda, but I mean, Reed needs to go to... Pr he, the, we're on the wrong side of the glass. This is ridiculous. Wow. I don't think it would be a good idea. Trust me, man. Your arrow just missed the gnome, but it, this cupid arrow is sure to hit the bullseye. Oh. I'm going to solitary. Photographic developer that changes colors when exposed to high temperatures. Is Reed trying to remind me of this? That is a long ass way to re remind him of that. Could that mean, look closer. Oh wait, he wrote something in invisible ink and wants me to get it hot. The back of the photo does have a faint yet pungent smell. It doesn't feel very smooth. Reed must be up to his old tricks again. There must be something written on it. I'll have to find a way to heat it up and reveal its hidden message. Put it in your pocket. Uh, well, the showers were pretty hot. Um, the laundry as well, maybe? The iron? And they did mention that we can't steal the iron, so uh, I'm, I'm guessing the... Um, yeah, maybe we can go to the um, to the laundry and then use the um, uh, the, the iron on the, on the, on the photo. Eat the photo, zero out of 50. How the hell am I going to do that here? Oh, I have a match. I have to keep my hands steady. I mustn't burn the photo. We're using a match? Wow, good thing I have, I found... I'm out of matches. I'll need to find more. Damn it. I need a match or alcohol lamp to heat it up. Oh, that was a low roll. Damn it.
All right. Well, I was thinking about using um, the iron, but I guess we got to go get more matches. I could try to buy some from Billy. No. Nope. What was cool there is I don't... We didn't, we didn't have anything in our inventory, and the game automatically pulled it from the inventory, so that's really cool. Can we make an alcohol lamp? No. Well, I mean, maybe, but I, don't, I, don't, I can't do it now. Who else can we buy stuff from? Can we call anybody? Can't believe we can't put hot water on it. Hmm. Oh, I guess all we could do is like. I guess. All right. At first, I thought it was kind of weird with the uh, Reed telling us to get the chemical from the film canister, but I guess it makes sense because he was working with film. But what a weird, long, convoluted way to. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's fine. It works for the story of the prison. Oh, we need to over... We need to listen to conversations. Ah, oh, my head. It's about to split open. Hey, is it really that bad? Is it hypno hypnosis or some kind of superpower? Something's wrong. Shouldn't be... Shouldn't be what? We just wanted to see if you were making up all the hypnosis stuff. I don't want to make this guy's... This guy's head explode. Strange. Ordinary hypnosis should be asleep, not struggling. Crunchy, did you let me out? Or was it the long nose fella? Stop, you're making him crazy. Although he's not exactly normal at the best of times. Uh, when you hear me sneeze, you'll... Hey, what's the hurry? I'm not done with you yet. Wake up. Achoo. Hey, I thought you were going to hypnotize me, long nose. What are you staring at? Let's get started. Crunchy. You're crunchy, right? You're back. What are you talking about? Am I going to be hypnotized or not? That should have counted for that quest. Yep. So those little thingies just mean we got to stand near them. Max is close to this close to losing it. You need to keep an eye on him. I don't want any trouble now. Got it. I'll try to pour some water on the powder keg, but but what? But if the hole in the kitchen gets blocked, we won't be able to uh, to afford to serve at the end of the month. And as you know, his appetite suddenly gone through the roof. I'm getting worried. Don't worry, I'll handle it. And I've been calling in all debts lately just to give Max an outlet for his strength. Fine, I'll arrange it. Yeah, this is just a demo, dude. I can't even believe it. I, I can't believe it. Joseph Kangaroo versus Buffalo Bill. I honestly thought we would have beat the demo within like two hours. So I'm I'm blown away at this being a free demo. This is why the demo days thing is so amazing, dude. Like, seriously. Cost zero dollars to get this entertainment. Okay. Uh, oh, William, do you have the time for a drink with me? I'm curiously. How do you always have alcohol? Oh. That's top secret, I'm afraid. Alas, I cannot say. 
in that case, uh, I won't. Uh, maybe we can get alcohol from this guy. Make an alcohol lamp, maybe? You won't drink? I won't ask. Oh, William, taking a, talking with you is a, truly a ray of sh a sunshine in this dark place. Teehee. Remember Sea of Stars? That was six years ago. Oh, you mean how long we've been playing this demo? Yeah. It's been six years since our previous stream because we've been playing the Back to the Dawn Mega Extendo demo. You know, at a certain point, I feel like somebody's going to be playing this game and it's going to be like, thanks for playing the demo. And then they're going to be like, what the hell? This is a demo available now until July 10th. Oh, really? Okay, some demos usually are ending on the 26th of June, but this one's ending in July. we got to play this full game. At this point, it's going to be tough because we're going to have to do like a three and a half hour live stream just to get caught up to where we are now. Which is why I kind of didn't want to play, play this because it was like, ugh. But it's so good. I, I just love everything about this. All right, I think we can go to lunch. Oh, wait, let's listen. Hey, do you still have that thing of yours? That thing of mine? Yeah, that thing, you know, the thing. What are you talking about? I'm too embarrassed to say in front of everyone. Forget it, just pretend I never mentioned it. I'll tell you when we have a little more privacy. Smiley face. I guess we could go work in the laundry room. Ooh, trash cans. A coin, cool. Well, we got a ton of money, so we're going to have a nice lunch. That's going to get a lot of our health back. Quick dry glue. That'll be useful. A dumpster diver. When searching through the trash, you have a chance of finding better items and no longer have accidents. Oh, hell yeah. Turn that on. Wait, where's dumpster diver? Oh, there. Uh, can I enable both? Oh, I can. Good. Yeah, I don't need the Molotov one at the moment. Alright, so now when we open up trash cans, we have a chance to find better stuff. Oh, I need to talk to that guy. Oh, my eyes are burning. Time's running out. Collect the debt. Remind him to pay back the money. Hey, Eddie, just a friendly reminder, you should probably pay back the money you owe the Black Claw gang. What? It's only been a day. They must have mixed me up with somebody else. Looks like this won't be easy to resolve. Success. Hey, take it easy. I just made a mistake is all. I'll pay them back tomorrow. No, right away. Well, all I had to do was just mention, in all caps, this looks like a 95 game GG very nice knot. Hold on, we'll, uh, I'll do some laundry while we, while we go through this one. What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was way too early. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, closer, closer. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We still got 30 bucks. That's still within green, so we're fine. Let's do another one. Wait, examine the iron. The iron is still very hot from ironing the clothes just now. If I close the steam valve at the bottom, then I could use it to heat the photo. Whoa. I just have to judge it right. I mustn't burn the photo. There we go. Frickin' big brain raptor. Hell yeah! It worked. A pattern has appeared on the back. Look at the pattern that appeared. What's this? Bro, he photocopied an entire map of the prison? Jesus. It's a map. A complete map of the prison. Uh, Reed used invisible ink to draw a map of the prison on the back of the photo. I have to admit, he can be a real genius sometimes. The names of the buildings on the map are marked here. Where did he find out this information? Could he have a friend in the uh, municipal archives? The building in the middle is the main building. My cell is in the right corridor. Based on the map, the walls of the building are much thicker than they seem. The pipe area and the walls must take up a lot of space. This is the administration building, located under the yard. The main entrance to the prison and the parking lot are also located there. But it's where the administrative employees and warden work. So it's probably difficult for inmates to get there except during visitation. Next uh, is the area at the top. The laundry room is against the fence on the left and the infirmary is on the right. And the angular building is next, uh, it's next to it is... Wait a minute. The building is labeled mailroom and inmate... Uh, property storeroom that's the place I'm looking for and it looks like the inmate property storeroom and the mailroom are in the same building in other words if I can find a way to get to the mailroom I'll have a chance to get into the storeroom hmm I remember Billy saying the mailroom is really short-handed right now maybe I could use that as an excuse to see him again I could have saved a match. Oh well. All good. It's only going to cost us eight dollars. You need anything? Ask about the mailroom. Hey, Billy. I overheard that the mailroom is really short-handed. Yeah. Why do you care? I mean, maybe there's a job opportunity for me. Oh, you've come looking for a job. I know that every letter sent into the prison un undergoes inspection. I used to be a journalist, so I have a keen eye on what, uh, when it comes to written information. So if you need more people to inspect the mail, I should be able to handle it. Hmm, that does sound pretty convincing, but Bruce is the one in charge of work assignments, so usually you'll have to go to him to apply. You sure are a journalist reading between the lines. Since I'm in charge of distributing the mail and daily essentials, the warden gave me a little authority too. I can get an inmate pa a pass to the mailroom for the purpose of assigning assisting with delivery that'll let you go through the mailroom and when you get there the guard will give you a job i see so how do i get your pass i always keep things simple 300 dollars and it's yours jesus 300 okay i'll think about it all right so now we've got a big old main goal which is lunch and then after lunch we got to get 300 freaking dollars Can we get this dude out of here? He's annoying. No, he likes the stream. He likes this game. That's why he's still in the chat. He's fascinated by this, and he loves the community. That's why he hit the like button. And even if he hits the dislike button, it counts as an interaction, which means I win either way. The fool! <laughs> yes. Good, chat. Good. Let the ignorance flow through him. Good. All right, let's go have lunch. Oh, wait. We got to wait like three minutes. All right, so I don't know how we're going to get $300 aside from just doing the quests. Uh, working in the uh, 
laundry room probably ain't going to get it to us. Hmm. We'll get rep for eavesdropping. Let me check real quick with Bruce. Bum, bum. Oh, damn. Oh, I thought it was just clicking. It used to be William was the inmate working in the mailroom, but now the warden has introduced a package service. But he's so slow he can't... Oh, damn. The tur You got the turtle working in the mailroom? He can't keep up anymore, so the warden's approved one more spot. Only one? That's right. Only one. The mailroom is an important place. We can't let anyone in there. And you need to show a specific work card to get in and out. Of course, I'm the only one who decides who's eligible. Could I be eligible? According to the rules, a new fish like you ain't allowed to work in high security areas, but seeing how we're partners, we worked together before, how about this? I'll give you two days to earn 50 good credit conduct credits. Manage that, and I'll give you the job. Think you, think you can go about it? Well, apparently that hurt. Oh, it's lunchtime. Wait, it didn't even give me a chance to... Oh, time actually was passing. All right, so wait a minute. So that means we can just do it by getting good conduct points. And we only have six. But considering what we've done so far, we could get a lot of that now that we got jobs rolling. Anyway, let's get a good lunch. We earned it. Ooh, there's a new thing on the menu, an omelet. Oh, omelet du fromage. Immediately restores four focus points. Damn. Damn. Maybe we'll come back for seconds. Who should we sit next to? The frog. I'm going to need this all for myself anyway. Sorry, my man. Need to keep my health up. I was spending time in this segregation. Even I can make an omelet better than this. Oh, I can't get seconds, damn it. Ask about the Cook Brothers. I'm the eldest of the Cook Brothers. Everyone calls me Straw. Listen up. I'm the boss of the cafeteria and the boss of the kitchen. Inmates have voted me the last person in the prison you want to offend for 10 years running. There's nothing I hate more than when inmates don't finish their food. Well, we could try to go dumpster diving. There's there's William, the guy working the damn mail mail room. Ooh, a glass shard. Nice. Gross, I should never open it. I thought we were I thought we had protection against that with the dumpster diver perk. Bom, 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 bom. Mint roll up. Man, we got all sorts of good stuff. Oh damn, we just knocked on the door? Don't knock, say the password. Guess a password. Uh, open sesame. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Are you messing with me? I'm not in the mood for this. Alright, so we can definitely go gambling later. That was fun. Well, let's over here some conversations. What do you have for lunch today? What do you think? Pumpkin porridge on Monday, pumpkin porridge on Tuesday, and pumpkin porridge on Wednesday. This place doesn't have much respect for us. What the hell is that? A Zenitharian? Are they, um, do they eat bugs? Is that what that is? I heard that some prisons on the West Coast offer ant shakes. Oh, maybe that is it. Hang in there, buddy. I know we share the same problem, but I have to correct you. I'm a Philodia? Believe me, these scales have brought, brought me no end of trouble. Ophiliotian? I thought oh, armadillos were Zextharians. An armadillo? I'm a pangolin. Are you seriously telling me you've mistaken me for an armadillo the whole time? Uh, wait, I heard pangolin scales have medicinal properties. Is that right? 
Uh, no, I was kidding. I'm an armadillo. I just have a unique shell. Teehee. Oh, he doesn't want to get his face eaten. I think I've seen you somewhere before. No kidding, everyone's seen everyone in here. Don't play dumb, I mean, before I came in. You must be mistaken. I got caught straight after I came to the city. We Panthers all look alike. Oh, Bob, that's the character we get to play. Oh, really? Yeah, Bob, we get to play later in the game. He's eating pumpkin porridge. Well, who knows? Maybe, dude, in this demo, this demo has everything except for, like, the last person in the credits at this point. Now let's listen to the deer in the... Oh, it's Sam. I love Sam. Hey, man, I think we might be sitting in the wrong place. What do you, what, do you want to switch chairs? No, I mean, we're sitting between the Bigfoot gang and the Black Claw gang. And I always sit here. I've never had any trouble. That was before. Haven't you heard? Word is we're on the brink of war over in the kitchen over the kitchen hole. You can't see it on the surface, but there's a whole lot of trouble, Baron. Just like there's a whole lot of Mexican going on, going on at Taco John's. I'm up for parole soon. Don't want to get caught up in their war, so you better eat up and get the hell out of here. Then I wouldn't have to put up with you spraying your spit all over my plate. All I'm saying is this is gonna hit the fan. It's just gonna give you a heads up. You'd be a jackass to ignore it. Look who's talking. You literally are a jackass. T. How many conversations is that? One more. We can probably hear one in the yard. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Hey, man, why are you just standing there? Wait. Wait for what? I thought we were going to hit weights after chow. Are you bailing on me? No, just wait a second. What for? We don't have much time. Yeah, that feels good. What? What's that smell? You go work out. I'm all relaxed now. What just happened? Oh, he's uh, having a little, little the Mary Jane. Uh, I don't think we need any of that. All right, let's go see if we can get our screw. Unless I already grabbed it. Maybe I already did. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, chat, relax. It's clearly somebody on their mom's account. This guy wanted this game to be a first-person zombie survival shooter that had 8K graphics. He didn't get that, so now game bad. And since we told him his opinion didn't matter, and no one agrees with him, now he's just going to attack you until either she pulls up in the driveway in the Honda Accord with pizza from Little Caesars, Or until he's allowed back on the computer after being banned from Fortnite. Uh, who are you? I was a prisoner, now I'm a ghost. But I'm here as the barbershop owner. This is all very strange. Don't be surprised, I said I'm a ghost. There's nothing I can't do. I've been open for over a decade. I mainly do hair and tattoos. But I've had to temporarily close because of recent reservations. Reservations. Yeah, no. Renovations. Oh, that's a shame. I need someone to take care of my split ends of my ears. I've closed my main business for now, but I, I have a few sidelines. Like posting quests and selling items, if you might be interested. What about the quests? I've been open for a long time, so people always ask me about things. Over time, this place has become a quest posting center for inmates. Anonymous clients pay people to take care of things, and I take a cut. Sounds like a pretty good business. <laughs> what I just gave you is the most recent request. Complete it and you'll earn money and reputation much faster way to earning money than working. If you think you got what it takes, take a quest and give it a try. Oh, so this is like a ultra fast way to make both money and that was that in Chinese? Collect three irises. Wow. Get a pair of slides. 
Assault Diego the Alpaca and win. Wow. So that's going to be a great way to make a ton of uh, money. Learn about selling items. Oh, we, oh, wow, we can just sell, what? We can just sell our extra stuff? I found rubber gloves when we were in the uh, infirmary. We can sell that for 20 bucks, uh, but only up to 100 bucks, okay. So you can only make so much money. Quest might actually be better. What's memory recall? I don't know what that means. All right. Well, unfortunately, chat, we are out of time tonight for Back to the Dawn. I cannot believe how long this damn demo is. But honestly, at this point, because it is a demo, I would like to just restart the full game when it comes out sometime soon to Steam. But this is an amazing game. I love this. The story is interesting. And we'll be playing through all of this again when Back to the Dawn comes out. So we'll probably have to get caught up to this point. And we'll play the demo, uh, the full game, just as we did the demo. So when you see me playing Back to the Dawn next time, we'll be going through basically the same thing. But we'll find out what the hell's in that mail room, and uh, or you know other ways to get out of the prison, and uh, see what we can do to uh, stop that corrupt mayor. Thank you everybody for your time tonight. Thank you very much for hitting the like button. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all my voice acting. Hope you enjoyed your time in the chat tonight. Don't be afraid to jump in our Discord. But do yourself a do me a favor by doing yourself a favor by going to Steam and wish listing back to the dawn if you're interested in it, or many of the other games on the Steam Next Fest. Tons of free games. You can just hit install, download, play. Dude, this game was almost four, probably five hour demo. There's gotta be some other games out there that you'd really enjoy. So do yourself a favor, save some money, find the ones you like, add them to your wish list, get them on sale, save even more money because they'll be on sale if you get them later on, you know. Even if you, you know, if it's kind of something you want, you know, just add it to your wish list. So anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. We'll be playing some more Forever Skies tomorrow morning. And I think, chat, by the way, I'm doing a lot of, uh, because of the Steam Next Fest, I'm putting out a ton of videos and a ton of streams. So what might be happening soon is I might not be streaming the late nights because like I'm just afraid of YouTube not telling anybody that we're live but a lot of people were here tonight but it might be because of the order that I really released videos today so like I want I want to stream all these games these are all good and there's so many of them I just can't cover them all so if I randomly stream one night at a different time you know why if I don't stream it might just be because I put another video out. It's just it's all based on YouTube's algorithm. So like if I put out more videos, I might do less streams because you, you get punished on this website for making videos. Whatever. Anyway, I'm going into solitary. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Love you.